just the THX logo. Hey. hey! Hi! Oh, look, we are there. So everyone is saying happy birthday, Timmy. Is it your birthday today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So, you know, they're... Yeah, so they're saying it now, you know. Saying almost, yeah, well, it says birthday. in the go live, it says almost birthday. Yeah, you actually, say belated actually, if, you, if you're late, what do you say if you're early? Preemptive birthday, burly. Um, I I don't know, I'm making that up because of belated, but burly, I don't know. Um, I mean, what's up, everybody? Do you have to I say anything? Darren can't be here because when Darren's here. It's after midnight his time, so I was going to ask him how my birthday's going, but he's not here, so I can't. Ah, oh, what? I, mean, I like that your loss. ribbons in your hair. Did you Thank do you. this or did your daughter do this? No, she's not around today. I did this myself. I just bought them last minute. I would have done more, and then like I ordered Domino's, like I was getting ready. I just ordered Domino's for dinner, and I did contactless order. And depending on the driver, sometimes they drop it off and go, but some of them like stand in the driveway and wait to see you pick up the food, right? And so I was like, oh, my God, this kid's not fucking leaving. And I've got these ribbons in my hair. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, I said contactless. I'm not paying for your therapy, bro. You know, but <laughs> oh, I saw this. Timmy, do, you have any, do you have makeup in your house? Me? Yeah. Yeah. My daughter has some, like not a bunch, you know, but like, I like that. A guy. Eyeliner. You want me to put on lipstick? <laughs> I'm just asking. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I know. I mean, I know. eyeliner, lipstick, blush. Can we yeah, do I, this? I, I get it. We, you wish I would put a little effort into it. I get it. We're for you caring about your appearance. Yeah. We're, you yeah. know. <laughs> it would be nice if you put effort in. It would be nice. You don't have to. I can't make you put in effort. I might. I, what I what I don't want to do is like use the lipstick and then my daughter goes to use it for her next like concert or something. It's like, what? <laughs> because, I, you know, do it wrong. I'll probably. Fuck and, it up. and then she's like, my dad used it on the internet. Like that's that doesn't sound good for money. My dad, <laughs> who is trying to get an OnlyFans, used my lipstick on his webcam. Whenever he does stuff like this, people donate money. So he puts a lipstick. Is this coming through? Can what? you guys hear this? It's you sound like not the not the best mic. Always have this. What is it? I just always have a problem with my mic. How's everybody else sound? Oh, Erdo Tali in chat has a good point. You know, Zach, Sam dressed up for Timmy's birthday last year. I kind of thought this year was your turn. So where's your uh, Star Wars character outfit? Mine? Yeah. I mean, what? it doesn't have to be Star Wars. Can you hear this? No, it could be Star Wars. You could also yeah, be. Yeah, you sound better. Huh? Okay. All right. Anyways. Sound better. Sam, Timmy, you're quiet compared to Zach and Sam. I probably just don't have my mic turned. No, I game trip. Maybe I'll turn You're up. all good, <laughs> but like... Zach's a bit laggy. Well, oh, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck okay. you. That's, uh, I guess that's, we got to uh, call the, the internet providers. Sam, you got the thing. You got, you're doing that thing uh, with your background where it's like blurry and you're not blurry. I like that. Yeah. Whatever that's it's called. just my, my, <laughs> my room's yeah. a bit, my room's a bit messy. So, you know. Oh, see, I don't uh, have any pride. So I, I did not clean up very well, but. Dude, it, uh, the other reason I want to get out of this house, like the light back here, like that's not going away till after we're done. So I put all this, you know, like a tarp and a my daughter's tumbling mat and got to get that fucking. Yeah. Would you guys be interested in having a vote where Sam, you unblur your background, we all clear out of our spaces and we let them vote on who has the messiest Did we do that last time? Or no, last time we, we just left Darren. Like we didn't try to, but we all three left for something. And Darren was sitting there just being like, look at everybody's dirty fruits. <laughs> This is, I mean, my room, like the the office that I'm in right now is is in the process of becoming a baby room. So, wow, you're getting there, your baby in office. There's a re yeah, the baby's got an office. Mm. Uh, so what is that? Are mean having a boss the baby? Process of becoming a baby room. I see no baby stuff back there. What do you got? What's going on? Well, we were like 
taking stuff out of closets and like paring them down and uh, on the left hand side out. The so there's like a lot of stuff out. I'm just saying there's there's a reason why why there's it madness behind me. Good up. All right. All right. Fascinating. Um well guys, it's just the three of us. Yep. Darren's on and the three of us have an interesting show. Yes. Are we capable? Well, uh yeah, we got we got stuff we can talk about. Talk Darren's about, on a night. People train. say talk about Morbius. Didn't see I didn't it. see it. I, you know what? I don't even know what Morbius is about. So I know it's Jared Leto, so it probably sucks because I don't right. think oh, what was true. what was one thing besides Fight Club? And I would actually argue Panic Room is an okay. It's it's a good movie. Yeah, if Panic it wasn't Room a Fincher cool. movie, it's a really good movie. But I, it's just like a I've weaker never, Fincher movie. I've never seen that. Um, what so has he, he ever done that's cool or good besides Fight Club? Uh, which and, and his part in Fight Club is almost negligible. But you know, he's uh, good in it. Yeah, he's fine in it. Uh, I actually kind of like him in Blade Runner twenty forty nine, but I've only seen it once. So and it was like back when it came out in theater. So I don't know. We probably have to reevaluate that one. But uh, um. People are saying Requiem. I Requiem like. for a Dream. Oh, Requiem for a Dream. That's fair. That's I a good movie. That's he was, good he movie. was he was good in Dallas Buyers Club. I think he was good in that. Oh, I didn't see yeah. that. He's okay. I don't think he yeah. should have won an Oscar. Yeah. No. I mean, I, 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 yeah, nothing to write home about. But he. I mean, was here like, in the future, good. we know he definitely should have won an Oscar because look how fucking annoying he got after he won the Oscar. <laughs> like, he like yeah. let it all out of the bag after that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, he's great in my so-called life. Yeah. <laughs> True. Jordan Catalano. How do I know that? How do I know that his name in that show is Jordan what Catalano? One thing I loved about that show was there was this, her friend, the, the girl's friend had this friend, or it was like, not even her friend, it was like her childhood friend who was like obsessed with Claire Danes. His name was Brian, and Jordan Catalano just thought his name was Brain. I thought that was, that, was wait, that was like a subplot on an episode? <laughs> that was just always when he's like, oh, hey, Brain. Weird. Brain, Brian says, Krakow. Oh, yeah. Jaxie says, wasn't he good in that one cult? Yes. I think he was good in that one cult. He's got his own cult. So oh, that's right. not every actor can can start a big of it. He was that right after we started. Not long after we started on Twitch, didn't that happen? Because when we talked about that, wasn't Trevor to talk about that? The whole we, we talked about it on Newsboys, I think. Did you on Newsboys? Okay. Uh, Sam, your brother says he's the best Joker. That's a uh, oh, that's just asking troll, that. obviously. True. Yeah, just yeah, he was of... really good in the Snyder cut. <laughs> hey, was he? In, I I'm like gonna fucking funny. kill you. <laughs> I like the heart. That, I like that Harley Quinn movie, but I don't think he was in that one. The the Birds of Prey one. That one's not bad, but uh, I don't think he's in that. Oh, this this week was a week we were missing hot takes from Trevor. Because of the slap, and I know everyone's all oh, slapped out. Yeah, but it, I'm, it, I'm slapped out. Yeah, Th- yeah, me too. Did that what, happen? But what do you think? Tre- would, do you think Trevor would just be like, "It's fake"? It's fake. <laughs> he would. He would think something yeah. insane about it. He, yeah, he, yeah, he, like, yeah. Probably because there were those people, especially right afterwards, that it was fake and like the setup for some reason, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. This is a good question. What actor's cult would you join? Oh, if you had uh, to, if you had to be in a cult controlled by an actor, who would have a great cult? And it's repressive; like you have to be with them all the time. You have to do what they want. Um, I might be sexual, wander, but I went to Christopher Walken. Oh would probably God. have a decent cult. Is is is? I mean, like, is time an issue? Like, if someone's like super old now, would they okay. be old, or could they be their cult? In they're their they're whatever age they are today. Okay. okay. Um, maybe I might go Tom Hanks. I feel like that would be a pretty decent cult. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the cult of like a he's a list, so you're gonna yeah. get carte blanche into a lot of cool shit. Yeah, he seems super nice. And even if he's not, if he's just like this vicious fuck, it's like wow, what a, what a trip. Yeah, it'd still be impressive to watch. It's still crazy. <laughs> Have you ever paid attention to his Twitter feed? Because like, if he's out walking and jogging, and he finds somebody's like lost car keys or gloves, like he posts it on Twitter, like. Someone lost their glove, Hanks. You know, that's all he that's said. bullshit, dude. That is bullshit. He does that. that. Is, he that's so Tom Hanks that dude, I bet he he's like. He fucking does that, like, dude. Yes, we got. I bet. I'm sure he's on the speed right now. Fake, fake, fake. Oh, <laughs> you're just trying to pay homage to to Trevor. I don't know. It just seems so convenient. It I does, got one. right? But it's I got real. One. Michael yeah. Douglas. Mm, okay. 
Just his voice. He he it, like hearing him talk all the time and be like, "Today you're gonna you're gonna have to go and play some volleyball and suck each other's dick." Are you doing a Michael Douglas impression? Sort of. It just sounds like he's talking. It, it's like a lazy one. I, I'm I'm no it's Josh. Michael Fado. Douglas impressions. He's, you started it for two words. You go, today you're going to go play volleyball and then you're going to. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Douglas. Into you. Yes, thank you. I don't know. I, I don't even know how you do it. I can't. I, I don't know how you do it. Josh man. does you a killer. You just have killer. to smoke a billion cigarettes. Here, wait, uh, let's Fatum see. I, I'm going to get Fatum on speakerphone and ask him to do a second of. <laughs> oh, he'll do it. He'll do it yeah, for like 20 he'll do minutes. It. Get him. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. Tristessa, I, Tristessa Blue says he got cancer from cunnilingus. Right? Didn't Michael Douglas say that he got cancer because of going down on women? Wasn't that a yeah, thing? That was a thing. That's insane, dude. Love it, love it. And he was like doing the Ant Man movies at the same time. He's like, "Hey, I got uh, eating pussy cancer. See me at Ant Man this summer." <laughs> oh, you know it'd be a good call. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Josh and vitamin. <laughs> You oh, no. reach the office of Josh at Fadum and Associates. <laughs> oh God, that's his voicemail. Yeah, so- uh, uh, a a Michael Rappaport cl- cult that'd be entertaining. Oh, kill me. I don't know, man. He's a little much, isn't <laughs> no. he? Yeah, he'd be yeah, only if just a suicide cult. It would be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Is that coming out with the hot takes? Coming out hot. Okay, so um, yeah, all right, Zach, so. I got a couple already. He hasn't. It looks like he hasn't tweeted since Ooh, like 2012. Josh Gad cult. Oh, God. Josh Gad oh, cult. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Are we talking Washington? about the worst no. cult you could be in or the best cult? No, the best cult. Yeah, I think, I think chat's with me. Chat. <gasps> Don't you guys uh, think a Josh Cat Gad cult would be... We, we'd be like, hey, Gad, I'm sick God. Right I'm Gad, sick. God. <laughs> You'd be, you'd be the just gaddies. annoyed all the time. Oh, dude, my dog Josh, Josh Gad, that. more like Josh God. Yes, that's exactly. Oh my yes. God, what's that movie? He he was in like some kids' book adaptation. Okay, Zach, here's one. Gad lads. All right. Yeah, I think me and Chat are gonna start a Josh Gad cult. Like this is. I'm sorry. I love Tom Hanks. I I just when I picked any any actor that I would want to follow into a cult, I said him. So that shows how much esteem I have for the man. But like. This feels like virtue signaling to me. I think it's funny. <laughs> a sock? No one gives a shit about their sock, well, right, dude. You're just like putting random. it on Twitter so everyone will see, like, God, he's such a good guy. Oh, no, it's That's not even I that, though. Say. Like, he does, he's, sometimes he does say, hey, I found somebody's keys, but it's not even that. Like, he just finds stuff that's laying around and always takes pictures of it. Like, there's another one where it's like a deck of cards, you know, and just like random shit, you know, like, he's just, uh, that's, but that's what his Twitter feed was. He's just out there finding stuff and like taking pictures of it and i thought it was great that he did that all right maybe it's great i don't know it, i'm it so is great. cynical okay it's great okay it's great <laughs> it's birthday I mean, weekend it's great it's funny that oh, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, i forgot it's your birthday it's great, birthday it's great. Card. he's it's just, just doing a bit you know it's just a yeah. bit he's like got a bit if you it's know? a bit then i like it if it's if we're supposed to believe that he's such a mensch that he's like oh my god i have to help this no, person find no, their no, sock no 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 okay well that's then that's on me all no, right, well, I apologize. This is like sometimes. I mean, there was one time when he literally found someone's keys and was like, "These are someone's keys." But most of the times, like random shit like that, he just takes a picture of it and he'll say like a pun with it or something silly with it, you know. All right, I'm back in. I'm How's back in. Dogs, yeah. God, I was really worried there for a second because I don't want anyone to not like Tom Hanks. I mean, poor guy. No, no. no. Do you guys know about that um, podcast called Dead Eyes? I uh, yes, I've heard of it. I feel like I it's like it a, yeah, it's this podcast it's, by this guy Connor, and he he got fired from Band of Brothers from an episode Tom Hanks was directing. He he like got the part, but he got fired before they shot because Tom Hanks watched his tape and said he had dead eyes. So he spends like this whole podcast, like it's like a hundred episodes. It's not really; it's a lot of episodes though. Like trying to figure out like what was wrong with his tape and did he. Did he have dead eyes? So he's trying to hunt out all these people who are involved. It finally, it culminates. He gets Tom Hanks to come on the podcast, which does speak to like what a good dude Tom Hanks right. is. Stand and you first. listen to the episode where Tom Hanks like maps it out for him. And Tom Hanks is actually like the nicest, coolest guy because what he doesn't do is say like, I would never say that about you. He's like, yeah, I probably said it. Yeah. It's like I probably did. <laughs> and it's fucked up that someone told you that. You know, that person should have their kneecaps broken. But like, yeah, like, yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> it's awesome. That's yeah, that's great. Connor Ratliff. Thank you. Yeah. 
that's what his name is. It's a good podcast, sort of. He also hosts a George Lucas talk show, which Timmy would love. Who hosted a George Lucas talk show? Connor Ratliff. Connor. And what was it about? It, I mean, it's about George Lucas, but like, what's what's what, about that like, time that George Lucas hit that kid with the car and kept driving, and they're like trying yeah. to get to the bottom, like, why did you keep driving? Like, and somehow like, just, that you know. meant that Connor Ratliff lost a part in something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you did a hit and run and you never showed up at the audition that I went to yeah. and then when I had to submit a tape I, I was off my game and I just want to know why did you do that I'm, I'm a little <laughs> lost did he actually George Lucas actually hit somebody and just take off hey man who who can who say who hasn't yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know all no, these, probably. I mean, Hollywood most, elite yeah. yeah most celebrities have killed someone with their car and not gotten in well trouble. we know so, that Matthew uh, Broderick. Um, Broderick did do you remember when we Laura did that, Bush. Movie, that series of movie trivia before our live shows for a little while? Yeah. Back in like 2005 <laughs> or so. Well, that up. was one of fun fact. Did you know one time Matthew Broderick hit a kid with his car and killed him? Yeah, it said whoopsies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. There we go. It was like it was like a blooper. It was like a kind of blooper, thing. yeah. <laughs> for that, like a remember blooper. we had a there's another one that I think Trevor did uh, that was like a jumble like figure out this title and it just said h g o s t dad and it was just two letters out of place for ghost dad (laughs) (laughs) there was another one that was i'm not gonna say the name of the person because it's like who knows but it was like what would be the best way to kill x x x x x a a popular celebrity at the time this was like 12 years ago what would be the best way to kill them (laughs) that was it was like trivia Uh that was the question and then the answer was I was really proud of this. I wrote this and I was like, this would be a great way to kill somebody. Take them to the to a very, very high bridge and then attach a thousand fish hooks all over their body. And to each fish hook, attach a different length of fishing wire and then throw them off the bridge so that as they fall, boom, 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 the fish hooks are ripping chunks of their flesh out and slowing their their descent so that by the time that they land on the ground, they're fleshless, but still alive, looking up at their own skin dangling above them like some fucked up mobile. I just remember uh, how great that was. Um, I'm pretty huge, happy like, with that. This huge block of text on the screen. <laughs> uh, what happened to the slideshow? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we should find that slideshow. It's got to be on one of Trevor's hard drives. You remember the other one uh, that we did? It was just puppies and kittens and ducklings. And then we had a split. Uh, oh, like yeah. Shot of just like a dick and a butt. And then it kept going to puppies and kittens. And so I guess it was. Yeah. Just, I don't know. It was really funny because like everyone would like like, you know, they're just sitting down. So like no one's really. Oh, you got the thing. Uh, yeah. Everyone's just kind of talking and they're sitting down and they're just like, oh, this is just something funny to look at. Yeah. And then like the first time it happens, you hear like three people go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you, they like tell people like oh it's coming it's coming and then like right. you hear like like that like happen again and yeah people start to catch up. i remember on. i was uh one of the times i used that slideshow um chelsea Peretti was like they're doing the show with us and i'm talking to her and her back's to the screen i said wait turn around <laughs> like right before I said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. If we were a business, you would have gotten fired for that. Uh, Probably. <laughs> I like uh, someone's oh, yeah, comment right. about the, the right. fish hook thing was Zach's Cenobite audition. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. What is their line? Yeah. We have we have such sights to show you, right? We have that's such a, sights to show you. My God. Yeah, I haven't seen. I've only seen. Well, I've seen Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3. You don't need to see 3 again, I don't think so. But I really want to watch 1 and 2 again. It's I don't one think one. I've ever seen You know, it's two. weird. Like hellraiser is so great like hellraiser one is like it's yeah. just such an incredible weird cool yeah. movie Dark fable and i think that the idea of the cenobites is so interesting mm-hmm. how can they make like 12 terrible movies i've never I seen them i should i should just power through the but it's like one it's a, is good say again i'm sorry it cut off and i didn't mean to cut you off i think i cut you off and so did the internet um the second one is good the second one is like uh they like go into hell or the demon, the Cenobite world or whatever a little bit. And, but it still starts with a similar real world thing of like, a, I think it's a lady making a deal, you know, for kind of similar to the first one. 
And then, cool. but then it gets a little more into all the Cenobite stuff, but they don't overplay it. And then the third one, it's like very silly. They make new Cenobites and it's like made in like 92. So there's like a CD Cenobites. He's got CDs. That sounds oh, random yeah. to me. It's rad, but it's like, it was really slow and boring. Like I have no problem with a CD Cenobite and a video game head or a video, yeah. like an old school handicap video camera head guy. That's cool. But it was just like, the rest of it was pretty lame. So. I, yeah. But there's like, yeah, there's like 12 of them. There's a, there's one where they go to space. Like there the, really is Hellraiser in space. The, the first one. You should watch all the in space horror movies like Jason, oh. Leprechaun, Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Um, What's that? Yeah. Yeah. The, the first one. Now the first Hellraiser, it's almost like, like it's not really about the Cenobites as much. Right. I keep, is it Cenobites? Cause that Cenobites. sounds. I think it's C-E-N. See, it's, it's like Cinnabon, C- Cinnabites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's spelled, it it's spelled very similar to Cinnabon. They never do a Cinnabites me. feels like a cereal. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny. That would be a great Hellraiser 13. It's like, <laughs> we're working on our new Cinnabon cereal. We're going to call it Cinnabites. It's a typo, and that summons the Cinnabites. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no! <laughs> we have such milk to show you. <laughs> Every, it's just a montage of all these kids like pouring their cereal and just like going to hell. And yeah, that it's, it's one with the weird mouth comes out. Love it. It's like Pinhead, like killing Captain Crunch. Like instead, <laughs> instead of the Soggies, you have the Cinnabites. <laughs> uh, the fuck is, uh, Cabin in but, the Woods towards the end, where they have all those monsters in it. Like they have a very quick second. That's like obviously supposed to be a Cinnabite. He's got like saw blades in his face or something. But it's actually like it's like. A, a 10 seconds from like a good Hellraiser movie because he's like there's this mm. guy like carving his own face and the Cenobites are just standing around him like making him fuck himself up you know so anyway what I remember about the first one though was that like the, the, the Cenobites were like a, a small part of it like the yeah. main thing was hmm. like it was so much about this guy selling his soul kind of thing right? right mm. yeah Uncle Frank right? Uncle, Uncle Frank. Frank yeah like, Frank yeah 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 um, Zombie yeah. Bender says a Cenobite is another word for a religious zealot. Is that true? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, because there's um, a well, because later on, once they decided that it's a pinhead series, uh, they gave him an origin a lot of them. Like he was a guy that like finds the thing and does a deal with the devil or whatever, deal with uh, the deal. Interesting. Yeah. So but anyways, I think the first two are good because they're like what Sam said, they're not about pinhead. It's not pinhead and friends monster movie. It's it's about you know other people's uh, trying to uh, make these deals to experience sexual pleasure and pain or whatever the fuck they're doing and going yeah through. hey let me do some donos really quick oh we already <clears throat> do some donos uh oh my god hey hold on there's a couple here that came in six hours ago okay bubble bloop donated 20 bucks six hours ago it says i don't know if i'll be around to see the streams live but i beg you timmy can we please get a recap story of the children's puke fest concert yeah, yeah, i'll do that i'll do that i text you guys okay. about it yeah and i sent Steve i know and his about brother it. the thread um <clears throat> it's only gotten more epic and i got more information this morning so yes i'll go into that I, all right you're gonna have to fill me in because i don't know anything about yeah, what you're talking about i, I text you guys brief- there's if something happening in watertown about- south dakota i'll tell you there's <laughs> a happenings right now <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Let me oh, get yeah, through you, these. No, I, I'm saying, no, I don't want to do it right now. Yeah, you do your thing. I'm going to grab a water. I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh, so Sam doesn't care about the donos. He's getting ready for a spit take. Well, that sucks because there's a huge dono coming up, and Sam just thought it was okay to walk away during the donos. <laughs> I think that's actually disrespectful. I'm actually offended. That's I'm going to wait till he gets back. Um, Someone says, what kind of pizza did some- you order, Timmy? I got thin crust pepperoni and jalapenos. Just want to make sure jalapenos. Dude, I want that right now. So my wife is at my in-laws house babysitting their four chihuahuas. So Augie is at like little dog camp right now, which is like Oh my best. god, he's over there? He fucking loves it. Oh my um, god. But now I'm home alone for the weekend and it's like this just means I eat trash. Like I ordered Chick-fil-A last night for dinner. I had two hot dogs with no buns because I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> to do buns. Wait, are you are you trying not to eat bread, or are you just sourced that? No, lazy? no, no. Because then I made toast with butter and jam, like okay. like two hours later when I got home. Well, you had no, toast no and hot reason. dogs separately. That's funny. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Zach. What hat do you have on? I don't know. It's I, it, this is some fucking hat from like an Instagram ad. <laughs> um, when Sam puts his headphones back on, I'm gonna shame the shit out of him. 
Sam, I, I waited for you for the donuts because I figured it was rude for you to walk away while we're before I read these. Oh, things. I'm sorry. I, I'm dehydrated because I ran. <laughs> I'm not really mad. I ran. But today. I did want you to be here for the next one I'm going to read because okay. it's okay. a banger. Nicole Phillips donated $500 Whoa! six hours ago. Thank she you. Said, Whoa. Jimmy, Sam, and Darren, you're all comedy geniuses. Zach, you're okay too. Love to the whole Whitest Kids community. Whoa! Thank you so much, Nicole. That is, that is amazing. Man. Is she, That's amazing. They were- I think they're refuting what's been going on the last couple times where people really get behind you, right? Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to just power through that, Timmy. I'm not even going to know. Angus great. McDonald donated 10 bucks. Says, Hello, sirs. It is great to meet such upstanding citizens as yourself, and I've always looked up to you. I especially admire how intelligent and thoughtful that Sam Brown fellow is. So I want to know, Sam, are you more into bussy or gawk? Thanks a bunch, guys. What is that? Bussy or gawk? I like them both. Bussy, you know? bussy with a B or gawk. I've heard, I've heard what with bussy. I feel like I've heard bussy before. I mean, I sound, I sound like I could, you know, they both. I've, I've never heard those before, so I could go with both of them. Hey, it's 2022, man. You fucking do what you want. Yeah. yeah. Man, Lettuce shredder donated 20 bucks. Said, balls in my mouth. It is the whitest kid I know, except for a while back to drop the course on a new phone mountain. What the uh, fuck is happening, dude? What is this? <laughs> I don't know, dude. All these, I'm looking at them too. There's, it's weird. The dodos are weird. What the fuck is going on? Skiddy, Skiddly Pop 22 donated five bucks. I don't read below ten, guys. I appreciate every dono, <laughs> but I don't read below ten. Zlump donated five. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. The hot girl from high school donated five. Hey, appreciate it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just paraphrase. She's com- She's complimenting Sam in that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christmas donated five. Um, I'm going to read this one, though. Could you guys look at the really old Whitest Kids pictures from your own Facebook group that were shared on the subreddit to say what was happening in a lot of them? Where do you get those. Where do you get your ideas? Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Timmy, will you pull those photos up? They're cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Timmy Hot Sauce donated 10 bucks. Says, haven't donated in a long time because I paid for Timmy to eat hot sauce, and he never did. This what? is his one chance to finally do did. what I paid. You him never to ate do. hot sauce. I ate so much fucking hot sauce that I was sick the next day. Like really sick. What? Are what? You about? <laughs> I don't remember this. I think you oh, got okay. it. You probably should. Oh, so eat what they're doing is they're, sick. they're so what they really did was donate ten bucks to get you guys to gaslight me. That's <laughs> <laughs> somebody just put "I am poor" over your face. Oh no, you can do that with the. Uh, that's an emoticon. I have that emoji wall up. I am poor. Yeah, that's one of the emojis you could do. It's, it says, I am poor. See, there it is. Oh, yeah. But, it, okay, it's so people... Other people trying to get to work, and only some people know how to make the emoji wall work, and I'm not going to tell you. See, there it goes again. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, we get it. You're poor. God, it's gross. Guys, let me Hellcat tell you. Crow's wife donated 10 Don't bucks. Says, hi, boys. Happy birthday, Timmy. Hellcat Crow's wife, by the way, one of my absolute favorite people in our community because she and her husband got me a PlayStation 5. All right, they're wonderful. Uh, oh, hold on and hang on, donated 20 bucks. Thank you very much. And they said, happy birthday, Timmy, from Hubs and I. I am sending birthday cake fudge this week. No rat box, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe send it by cereal, too. Um, rat box? Is that what she said? It's no rat box because the, the no, rat no, guy no, ran no, to my... The rat box. The rat box was... Peyton on donated 10 said, I just learned about this. Can you guys explain the Columbine yearbook committee sketch? Where did, did we do that on TV? We didn't do that. No, we didn't do that on TV. How did people find out about that one? I don't know. Hmm. That was a fucked up sketch. All right, enough with the I am poor, because this is what happens is we have too much fun, and then we can't see people that might want to do You know, a lot of sketch groups wouldn't even let you guys play with these emotes, okay? <laughs> I think we're being a pretty cool sketch That's group it. right I'm now. Shut this down. I thought I was being your best friend. Zach, no one knows it, but Zach just quoted Mars. I quoted Mars. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not about sketch groups, but yeah. <laughs> yeah hold what, on. What, what is the line from Mars? A lot of captains wouldn't even let you play this game. Yeah, is that what it is? I think yeah. I'm being a pretty cool captain right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I can't wait for people to we, watch Mars. We got um, some. We got we got some to got show tonight. Mars. You want to show a little bit of Mars? So yeah, we got a little bit of animation we can show you guys. It's uh, it's really come together. We went over to the studio yesterday and watched uh, some scenes, yeah. and it is fucking great. Oh, man. Yeah. So um, we just want to show a little bit of this, right? Not the whole scene. Just just a little bit. We don't even want to show a whole scene. Just a like little a little taste. Scene. We're gonna so get we a see little what taste. We're, what we're talking about. Um. Yeah, let me give keep keep doing donut. Are there more donos? Uh, I think there might be. I think there might be. Let's you guys see. want to look at some? There's, there's some more. 
Oh, you're Zlump so- donated twenty dollars and said gay. All right. Pixar the eighty nine donated ten said Dirty Craig is not the marrying type. Dirty Craig is a dog. They don't call him Clean Craig. I'm rewatching Wrecked. Oh, I was like, what is that? I was like, this is ringing a bell. <laughs> Who says that in Wrecked? They don't call him Clean Craig. I don't know. I don't think it was me. Um. Okay, you want to look at old pictures of us? I found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, oh shit, what happened here? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, um, let me go back to this, go back to that. Okay, okay, cool. Um, okay, we're just gonna jump over this real quick. So this is from Look at the Sam. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is from the whitest kids Reddit. Now that's a picture from set, right? Yeah, that's like from set. I think something. yeah, that uh was uh How many season two or season? Matt yeah. took that. Uh okay. Uh and... Matt Simonelli, the wardrobe guy? No, no. Uh um uh, but Matt, karaoke Matt. Matt just, karaoke Matt. Um, oh, God. Matt Coates. Matt Coates. Matt yeah. Coates. Who yeah. randomly showed up on a stream last year. People are like, who is that guy? Yeah, for your oh, birthday. Was on my birthday last yeah. year. Yeah. That's weird. Random. All right. I guess every time I, we have a birthday stream for me, we talk about Matt Coates. Anyway, so there's Sam. Uh, this is a, I don't know what this is. Is that from that? I do. So oh, this is I Darren did. on the set of Rush Junkies, which right. was the movie Darren and I met doing, which never got released because it is a piece of shit. But uh, Darren played, I think his character's name was like Wolfowitz or Wogowitz or something. Oh, yeah. And we and uh, he was like my nerdy sidekick in the movie. And that was the car my character drove. And uh, he broke his arm on a he got in a, uh, uh, a ATV four wheeler accident. accident. Yeah. He flipped a four wheeler over, it landed on him, and broke his collarbone. Darren did probably right that around movie? that time. Huh? He, Darren did that making that movie. Yeah, Darren's broken. He's broken a lot of bones around. Yeah, he us, broke his he? elbow on what is on stage with us. Though. Broke his elbow on stage. He broke his arm jumping off the roof when we were all wasted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Moving on. Oh wait, Sam has a comment. So it's it's this movie is nowhere, right? What do you mean this? Oh, the Rush Junkies. Yeah, it does. It's nowhere. Never like, been. Because I mean, you know, we have some pretty powerful fans who like. Yeah, dude. Have, have you some noticed pretty, on the Reddit? They, they can't. It's they it's like it's not everything. it's not ever been on the internet. It's it's not. Okay. It does not exist. All right. For, because I mean, the picture anything. of me in this in this thread that we're gonna look at is like, where the fuck did you guys get that from? So uh, I think it's the next one actually. Okay, so this is like me, Yo, like, Timmy. You look. <laughs> Fucking different, dude. Right. So this is how I look right when I, <laughs> this is actually how I look right when I right Wait, when I Timmy. met you guys. I was this thin, but so this was maybe a year or two before that. Take and it down. It, some, it was hot. Take it down. Let's so just look I, at you for a second today. Yes. Oh, today. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ahead, Zach's basically like the rudest guy at a class reunion. Yeah, you yeah, look yeah. fucking different, dude. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but, uh, could you imagine me in a class reunion? Yo, no, for real. What the fuck happened to you, dude? Look at you. You look fucking different, dude. Oh, oh, man. So, yeah. so bad. So the hair, I mean, so the hair is not real. That's a wig. Uh, it was like Halloween at my stupid cubicle uh, customer service job here in Watertown. So I uh, dressed like that. And I was. Oh, you know what? You got to make it full screen. Can we do that for the people? They're looking at this. It's so oh, small. Oh, oh okay. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pin it. I'll pin it. Mine. I'll go back if they need me to go back. Let me know. Should I go back? Is it full? Sam will let us know when it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's full screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. We'll go back. Here's uh, Sam Bond uh, from season one or two. Sam Bond. Season two. Uh, Here is Darren as Woba Blosky on the set of Rust Junkies. Here's me as a princess at a call center job. (laughs) Um, So, why are you dressed like that? It was Halloween. And I was like, that'd be funny to wear this, you know? So, Mm. that's what I did. Because people were in Halloween costumes, you know. So, I so tell me, talk about your life at this time. What's your day to day? What do you? Do? I would. Uh, well, I, I had this job. I was like, this is right before I moved to New York. So I had this office job here in town. Um, I would wake up at like noon, work at like I think work started at like one or two, and work wait, until like. So wait, hang on, rewind. So you wake up at your parents' house? Yeah, I was, I was living at my parents in between when I went to college in Wisconsin went, and when I moved to was uh, to New York. So. Okay, so you're living in Watertown, South Dakota. You my get up parents, at noon. I wake up in the little room in the basement of my parents. I uh, probably spanked it. Uh, then would go to work, and you work at like, you know, it's like an afternoon to evening job. So I get done at 11, 
go to my friend's house and smoke weed and get crazy and then go home Hell and fall yeah, asleep dude. and wake Hell up and yeah. the next, next thing and do it all. that's just what I did every day and then one time I uh, called in sick to work so we could go to the Warp Tour <clears throat> and it was what we didn't know is that Warp Tour was intersecting just on that date with the Blink-182 tour or something and so the only band I wanted to see on that Warp Tour was Vandals and we got in traffic I fucking because love the vandals good for too, you man i fucking love the Vandals. like they're so great so anyways that was the only band i really cared about seeing and we're getting into there was that float right park which is just on the it's on the minnesota uh, wisconsin border so we're going there and um there was so much traffic because blink 182 was enormous at that time and we finally get in the park i'm walking in and i pass the vandals guitarist as they're leaving the stage i was like did you guys just play he goes yeah i'm like warren ah. you mean warren Warren Fitzgerald, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, uh, fuck, now I'm here all day. <laughs> so oh, I saw man. like Sub 41 and Alien Amp Farm and uh, yeah, I but remember, they stuck. I just, yeah, I, and I saw, no, yeah, it was terrible. I saw The Misfits when it was like um, Jerry only, two guys from Black Flag and like some other guy, yeah. I don't know. One of the Ramones, yeah. one of the Ramones was a drummer. Remember that era? And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was bad. Um, me first and the Gimme Gimme's are great. Um, I just want to point how out. How do we get th- onto this concert you went to? I, I just want to know about your life at the time. That's what I talk about. Is I would just like, we would do that kind of stuff, and then I just like would get high and go to work. That's pretty much all I was doing that time at that time. And all so right, this was not a happy going chapter. to the war tour. Like I got to go to New York. No, I was just like, no, it's not that it was a happy chapter. I was a fucking like dumb, like 19, 20 year old. I was trying to get out of Watertown and go do something. Jaxie says, is that a bulge in the pick? Are you erect? Uh, probably. <laughs> all right. I don't know. Look at a computer. Wow. Um, all right. This is dumb. Let's yeah, what if there's just like porn on the computer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a big just yeah, Timmy very, at work. It's very an opportune time to take a photograph. <laughs> this is the only way I get hard. That's what you see. That's my sex life. Um, it looks like you're you smiling a, for the uh, picture, but actually you're on? like like a I have a headset on. You do have a head. We're doing uh, like credit card collections or something. It was a fucking soulless job, man. I never went on to do that again. Fucking. Did you have friends that worked there with you? Yeah, my friend Amber was working in a cubicle next to me and took the picture. So, uh-huh. yeah. anyways, uh, there's now this is not this that is old from of a tour. Picture. Yeah, this is like 2010 or 12 ish. I, I took this picture, I'm pretty sure, because we were. Or no, was that on the bus or was that on the old fire truck? That's on the bus, the tour That's bus. That's on right? the bus, yeah. So I didn't take that picture. That's, I took that picture. You took that picture, okay? Because yeah. there was a similar picture I took of him when we were drunk at our hotel once, and f- there was a fire truck parked outside, and the doors were unlocked, so we got in and took pictures. There was a picture I Anyways. took, with Trevor. I forget if we like actually took it, it, like, but like I remember when we were on tour with Flogging Molly, uh, we stopped at the. It was like the first time we stopped at a, a like a gas station. You know, we're on the buses and stuff like that, and we like kind of get out. We're kind of walking around, and there was a flatbed, like a huge, like one of those flatbed trailers, like tractor trailers, with just smashed cars, and then a gap in the middle. And I remember Trevor got up on the the thing to be like get a picture of me like standing in the gap and like as he like got up it started to pull out (laughs) (laughs) you like had to jump off really quick yeah oh my god what's that shirt he's wearing uh it's a chris o shirt Chris O's shirt with the walrus on it. Actually, right now it is Chris O's birthday. So happy birthday, Chris. Oh. Remember, he always had he's, his birthday's the day before mine. And I'm gonna text him right now. Here. I gave him. Oh, did I you went. guys see the? Um, well, after this, I'll bring it up. Okay. Uh, okay. One more picture. I think we're at Zach now. Oh, look at that. Oh. Where's that from? Oh, that's in Salt Lake City, also on tour. Yeah, that's at the Mormon Temple in Salt Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Because your head. I was like trying to be like, there's so much evil. Yeah. (laughs) So there's like my old flip phone. Oh yeah, look at that shit. (laughs) Yeah, man. Burner phones, baby. Yeah. All right. right. Who took that? Sam, did you take that photo? I don't think so. I don't think I went around with some friends in town. You weren't hanging out with us. You went. You went around with uh, somebody else. Was there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You told us. Oh no, I was with. Was talking. Yeah, I was like, "Don't talk to me. You don't know me." Yeah, I kept yeah. saying that to you guys, and then I went out with cool kids. Who was it? <laughs> there was somebody. I forget who you were. With. I don't know. I had. A, I do remember that night. We went out to dinner, right? 
it was with some and the and the people I went out to dinner with knew the sh- like the head chef, and it was like a very like nice upscale restaurant. So we're sitting there, and the head chef comes out with the waiters, which was like oh a big honor, and he's like. Okay, you are gonna have. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna order for you. Okay, you're gonna get, you're gonna get this, and you're gonna get this, and you're gonna have this. And he ordered us each like three entrees. It was like yeah. so much fucking food. It was like no, no way humans could eat as much food as he ordered. And he was like, I'm gonna, it's gonna be so special. And then he went away, and he never came back out. And they brought us mountains and mountains of food, and then billed us for every single item. <laughs> It's like what the what the fuck, and he was gone. It's a good business yeah, plan. So I'll never forget that. He said we might want to go back to three camera because right now it's just me and you guys. Very oh oh you oh yeah we're yeah but that's that. cool though. I turned off the photos. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, uh, I'm gonna uh, pin mine because uh, I'm ready to. Allegra show. says, "What accent did this dude have?" I don't I don't remember. I'm just thinking of a scum hey, so like an Italian TV accent TV because it's all Italian. Nice back day over here. Come on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Welcome to Utah, motherfucker. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Mormon headquarters. Hey, We're Mormons over, over here. <laughs> we got that motherfucking tabernacle choir. Oh my you guys, god, I wish they talked. If they talk, no caffeine. Oh, there's a cult. There's a cult. If it was just Mormonism, but also you got to talk like a goofy soprano, shitty impression all the time, I'd do it. It's like, I'd be down. What's happening with Sam? Oh, oh, oh. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, wait. What let is, me. So what is this? Gonna let be? me make sure people can hear it. Uh, could you hear it? No. Okay. Uh, give me one second to figure that out. All right. Let me. Everyone's telling you no. But yeah, I don't even know. want you to show the whole scene because there's like no, editing no. that needs to be done and timing's not right and you know. Maybe just show what the... Thanks for joining us here at the Mars Enterprises launch site. Behind me, you can see the shuttle being prepared for its maiden voyage, which will commence in just a few short hours. Five lucky individuals will be traveling to the Red Planet this evening. And the captain of the ship is none other than Mars Enterprises CEO. Who is it? Who is it? (laughs) <laughs> they, 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 that's leave, leave that's a cliffhanger. That's a cliffhanger, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's good, right? It yeah, looks, looks good. It's like not yeah. uh it's not total dog shit. It's no, it a fucking great. professional good looking yeah. cartoon. I can't believe it. Yeah, man. It's a real cartoon. We have an animated It's movie. like a real cartoon. Yeah. I'm I'm really happy. It's yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Exciting. I'm getting a lot of uh a lot of wow zacks on that. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna read what you guys are saying. Are they saying um, nasty things? A little, little, little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff going oh, on. There. Oh, I see it because of, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, um, see. Um, I see. Um. Uh. Someone says, you guys, we all play a lot of different characters. Okay, right. that's not my only character in the movie. <laughs> 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 that would be no, that would be weird. Lifelong dream. His <laughs> only reason for making an animated movie is like finally, <laughs> finally. Finally, <laughs> I can, um, too, right? I figured out a way to get a, get away with it. <laughs> you know how I can't do makeup anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Ooh. Remember, how I got his kicked out of the birthday party. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, all right. Cool. All right. Oh, did you guys see there was that article in Vulture about us this week that uh, oh, Sam, your brother, sent? I think Matthew, yeah. somebody sent it to me, and I didn't. Sam, you sent it to us, and I didn't. No, nope, what I was didn't. it about? Uh, it was. This, uh, it was I actually with the. I, I want to set the page for the, the stage for this. Uh, uh, is that we were Zach and I were at the animation studio watching this thing, and we get this text of this article, and both of us were like, "Uh oh." Yeah, I was like Vulture talking about us. I was like, "This is it's is it happening? Yeah. <laughs> is this it? Oh. We're getting canceled." Finally, yeah, someone like, watched the show. Oh no! Oh, it's this article. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the article was it, it was it, it was, was more than more than an article. It was an interview with uh, Robin Thede from Black Lady Sketch Show, uh, pretty much talking about how she shows. 
the Abraham Lincoln sketch to her uh, writing staff every season. <laughs> and how she, she thinks it's a completely underrated sketch, and uh, it was uh, very, very nice things from her. It was very, very sweet, and I was, I was very, uh, very happy to read that. So I've yeah, watching a lot. She it was very like. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like there was a big like. Okay. <laughs> uh, because because the word asshole is in the yeah. is in the headline of the article it's like oh no it says why does kids you know and then asshole and I, those are the first two words i saw when i opened it I'm like then the middle part of, i'm like okay okay so it's not calling us assholes okay yeah 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 uh live from I mean, Babylon, what is, what no say? there's a good quote in here I like that she says, you know it's stupid because it starts out and it's Hamlet and Othello and it's a white Othello. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she said? That's so, like, yeah, but I think it's great. I think it's oh, people are asking, while well, you're looking at people are asking Darren. Darren is, uh, he's on a night train. He's not going to be here. He's on a night train! So, he's on a train. Timmy, have you watched Sonic 2 yet? Did you think you could be Eggman? <laughs> No, and no, because Jim Carrey plays like Ben, and he's got a little bit more pull than I do. So. Jim Carrey said he might be done acting. He said, he said I've done enough. <laughs> yeah. Sonic That's... 2 was the top of the mountain. Yeah. yeah. Like Bruce, you know Bruce Willis does it, and then everyone's like, wait, we can do that? <laughs> we have more money than anyone ever, and we can just stop? You and can stop and let other people do it? Weird. Is Dumb and Dumber um, the best Jim Carrey thing? Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen... I actually it, haven't seen a whole ton of his movies. But Dumb and Dumber or Truman Show. I think Truman Show has is like a different caliber once. of movie. Is that hold up? I haven't seen it yeah. since it came out. Okay. I like Liar Liar. Yeah, Liar Liar is pretty funny. And you know what? I mean, I used to watch Ace Ventura 2 a lot as a kid, but I think it's oh just because like, you had it. You that movie's Sarah crazy. Both. You know what's crazy? Uh, my wife is actually in Liar Liar. Uh, she had a scene. She's one of the classmates of the of his son oh. in his like kindergarten, and she apparently had a scene where like she and Jim Carrey like did a did a little thing, oh. and um, and she's you know like she was so excited. She goes. She's probably like seven years old or something like that. She goes to the premiere because you know she's in the movie. Nobody told her that her scene had been cut from the movie. Oh. So she like got a dress and like one of her parents was like oh so God. thrilled and she's sitting there watching the whole movie. Her scene never comes up. Oh. It's over and they just go home. And it's like, welcome to Hollywood, kid. Yeah, you can see the back like of her head. <laughs> she's like seven. You can see the back of her head in, uh, oh my God. in like one shot. It it's sucks. Fucking devastating. <laughs> I mean, I mean if it's an adult, it's like, okay, whatever, I got cut out. But if it's a child, you should like tell them like, hey, you they're not, tell the kid. They're not going to be in it. So don't bring them to the yeah. movie. I, like, you know? <laughs> Let's put ourselves in this, the the shoes of those producers. Like it's the, the premiere night. Hey, look, it's that little girl. Should we tell her that she got cut from the movie? Eh. Uh, she's having fun. You want to tell her? I want to have fun tonight. Uh, yeah. No, I don't want to. You want to tell her? Yeah. I'm fine like, not telling her. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just like cut it. <laughs> Her parents uh, walk by a bunch of producers that are all going like this, and they just never notice it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. Here's another premiere story for Sarah. This is this is a brutal one. She went to see, so she's in uh, the remake of Last House on the, the Left. Right. The polyphonic spray says she should make a podcast about it. <laughs> That's funny. She's in uh, she's in the remake of Last House on the Left, and she gets like savagely raped in the movie uh -huh. by Garrett Delahunt, and uh, and. Uh, uh, fucking Jesse from from Breaking Bad. I'm blanking on his name. Those are the bad guys. Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Yeah. Wow. Aaron Paul. Um. Anyway, she and goes ha the, half she of goes Garfunkel the, and Oates, right? And Ricky Lindholm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she goes to the <laughs> to the premiere with her dad, and uh, she's like, "Dad, I I don't want you to come to this premiere. Like, it's not. You're not gonna like this movie. Right. It's really not." not cool he's like it's fine it's fine it's fine and then she, they go and they're sitting there and she's like dad when the rape scene happens i want you to like close your eyes like don't don't watch it and he's like it, it's a movie i know it's a movie and so the movie starts they get to that scene horrible scene and she like looks up at him 
and he's just sitting there watching just tears just like oh rolling down his face it's like yeah. i could, told you not to watch this yeah it's, it's like, like it's just a movie yeah but you're gonna be watching this happen to your daughter on a huge screen right in your face with her uh, next to you like that doesn't matter yeah it's upsetting yeah oh my god someone asked is that the one that came out at the time as miss march yeah it is right didn't you yeah. didn't you tell story once about how they were at in the theater at the same time and you also have a butt seat in miss march or something so no What's that? Isn't your butt a Miss March? I mean, yeah, I showed my butt Miss March, but I never was like, Sarah, crazy story. We no, both no, I thought you said there was like, you said something like that. I can't remember. Anyway. That's uh, how you met, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> at, at like a support You showed your group. ass to the world in, in, in March? <laughs> no, no, not like that, but you said like that, the, that she was in a horrible rape scene at the time as you were had some, you were doing something embarrassing in Miss March. I can't remember what you said. I mean, that whole movie was a horrible rape scene for me. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I got an idea. Uh, uh, Zach, let me... I, this is probably not the avenue to pitch this to you, but, uh, you know, I'm a Hollywood guy. I've, I take my shots, you know? Uh, <laughs> Bubby, I don't have a lot of time. Go, 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 <laughs> All right. go. What about a Miss March sequel where... I'm interested. Timmy plays... Tucker's cousin, Fucker. Okay. Fucker? <laughs> Fucker. His yeah. name is what? His name is Fucker. Oh, wait, here's Josh. Josh Fadum. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm doing a stream right now, and I was wondering right. if you would do me a favor. Yes, maybe. Do your excellent <laughs> Michael Douglas impression. Okay, you got anything you want me to talk about? Uh, uh, running a cult, like if he's a, as a cult leader. Um, so uh, we've got a cult that's going real good. Uh, everyone's real happy at the cult. Uh, we like to do a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of prayer. I'm going to pick up some uh, pig's blood right now. <laughs> and, uh, so we're going to use that in the ritual tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be a lot of good guys there. My son's gonna be there, and uh, his first wife, uh, she's gonna do a sacrifice. Uh, they're not together anymore, but uh, she's a real sweetheart. We love her. He's got a boy. That's what my grandson is. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna sacrifice. We're gonna put a pea lock of his hair in the sacrifice. <laughs> uh, I got a sacrifice too. That was this one's more. Uh, uh, pagan related, but I also have a cult that's uh, more about um, uh, maximizing your uh, your life, maximizing <laughs> your income, and uh, we make a lot of money. And uh, there's a little lot of literature. It's amazing. That's, a, that's um, amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's so good. It's yeah, like that's really awesome. good. I mean, that's Michael Douglas. You just call the fucking guy and boom. It's like uh, there. Timmy and Zach are now complimenting you. Dude, and amazing. How amazing. Regina, what up, dude? You're doing, uh, but yeah. Uh, are you in LA right now? Yeah, I'm in here for the weekend. Cool. Uh, you got plans tonight? Uh, no, not We're right not now. We're not doing this. We're not doing uh, this. But right now. I, I, I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll call you after the stream. Okay, great. Right. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Bye. My uh, brother just texted that's me. That's what I was gonna uh, do. That's what I was gonna. Yeah. My brother just asked me what time is self suck. I was like, it's on right now, and then I realized, like, oh, we could have done it. Later in the day, if we wanted to, because Darren wasn't going to be here. Oh, because of Darren. But Darren didn't yeah, tell but we us. Didn't know till he was going to bail until. Oh yeah, today. that was pretty close to when we started. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, yeah, because apparently you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's oh kind my. of crazy that Josh can do Michael Douglas. Like that's well, not a commonly on a fucking whim actor. on the turn of a uh, dime, and he just was. It sounded exactly like him right it's away. You know? Really it's good. Crazy it's dude. a really good impression. Yeah. The way he yeah. said money is like money. I can't even do it. But like, yeah. Yeah. And just right. There was something he said. There was a certain way, word he said right towards the starting where I was like, and now he's got it locked in. I can't remember what word it was, but there was a certain word. I'm like, that was exactly Michael Douglas. And then the rest of it was Michael Douglas. It was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Josh, because, you know, Josh has some other really amazing impressions. And it's like, how did you do that? You know, The way like, he does. He also like like is whenever he does his Michael Douglas impression, he's it's always him talking about his family, about like, oh, dad and cat. Catherine, you know, right. like uh, dad. Michael Douglas kind of has like a Midwest thing. Where's he from? Dad. He says Indiana? like dad. Or Chicago or something like that. Let me look. look he must be up. Chicago. You know, I, I did a similar. That's an interesting uh, point, Sam, because 
a long time ago, I did a bit about shitty Sean Connery impersonations and how I can only the only part that I could do right was like uh, Mar- Marcus, Marcus, like words like that. Right. And how, so there's certain I think when you're working on an impression, there's certain sounds that you kind of maybe start from. And so maybe, you know, like Adam Sandler, you always do the vocal fry. Like that's the first, you know, that's the first oh, way. Yeah, and I'm not going to yeah. do it right now. But and like, walking, you do the yeah. whatever the fuck you call that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What is that? That's not vocal. fry. <clears throat> We walk in. What is it? A cadence? I guess a cadence. Uh, walk, right? I don't know what that is. Yeah. yeah. Regina just came in. Hello. Regina, Hello, you missed. Ron. We showed a clip from Mars. So, ha <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, uh, Michael Douglas uh, is from New Jersey. <laughs> really? He sounds You're so right, though. He has like a kind of Midwestern y sound to him. So, I don't know. Let me see here. Maybe he lived in the Midwest for a while or was on an army base somewhere or something. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ron Gina says, I'll see the whole movie. Yeah, I'll see the whole movie. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair. Right. Yeah, I'm going to see it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, falling Down is amazing. Does. Okay, best yeah. Michael Douglas movie. Go. Oh, man. Um, For me, I'll just jump in. Fatal Attraction. I've never seen okay. it. I haven't seen a lot of Michael Douglas movies. I don't know why. You haven't seen Fatal Attraction? It's one, no, of, my, it's one of my favorite movies ever. Is that the Glenn, that's the Glenn Close one, it. right? Yes. Really? That's surprising no, to me. It. It's a good movie, yeah. What if? That, that, oh, that's your favorite dude, movie ever. Not my favorite movie. It's not, or it's one, not my favorite movie. You said it's one in my of top ten. Yeah. It's one of them, yeah. I love it. Uh, I like, haven't seen a lot of his big ones. I don't know why. Hmm. I have a real thing for stalker I w- movies. I like the idea of like the banality of like human interaction turning into something like terrifying like yeah you, stalker movies i'm i'm all of the game you know uh, yeah or the, the gift, game is not great the game. The did gift. you see that recent movie the gift with uh jason bateman and what Joel that's what i was just it? yeah like i you, love yeah. that movie that kind yeah, of yeah i saw that i didn't know what it was going to be i was like wow it's so fucking it gets so fucking cape weird. fear oh fear. cape fear is great yeah uh oh, I see fear. Both I of them. yeah fear. uh I watched uh, 90s was like a really good era for thrillers, for psychological mm-hmm. thrillers. Like, no, man. Prestige it, thrillers, they call them. They don't do those anymore. It's a yeah. real bummer. Think they about really, how many really Morgan should. Freeman and Ashley Judd thrillers. There's like, like copycat. Along came a spider. Right. Did, um, this was this wasn't like like a, a like necessarily a good one, but it was like fucking fun was like a single white female. It yeah. was like that's like, like that a cool, yeah. Hand there the rock era of like sexy thriller. So like single white female, like the crush, hand, hand that body of crater. evidence, yeah. color of night. These yeah. like B plus A minus movies that were like you're gonna see some oh. tits like yeah. twice in the movie. That's fear. You remember fear? Fear. That's yeah. what I was. Just, I in the you house. Guys, when you guys were saying Kate fear, I thought you said fear. So that's uh, part of it was cut out. But Zach, you know what's weird is Fatal Attraction kind of like begat all those other movies. Like that kind of started yes. that erotic thriller kind of thing. In know? the same way that Seven begat like Along Came a Spider and Copycat and all those like all fear. those yeah. kinds of movies. Those like procedural dark thrillers. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, the '90s were. You know, the '90s had. Uh, you don't get R-rated movies like that anymore. You know, I yeah. mean, think about the big movies that come out in the theaters. Like, they hardly ever are unless they're a horror reboot of something from 30 years ago. You know what I mean? There's just not a ton yeah. of, like, our big R-rated movies. You know, it's weird. Do I know. You, it's such a bummer, man. Do they they wanna, don't make movies for grown-ups anymore. Do you want to do something really depressing, though? Like, uh, uh, if, yes! if you're a movie buff and you want to do something really depressing, uh, turn on your smart TV turn on voodoo and scroll through the endless sea of movies that have some pretty big actors in it that you will never hear about again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's that crazy. breaks my heart. Yeah. And it scares it, the shit out of me because my movie's going to come out this year right. and it's like, how does, how does any movie ever cut through? How, do get, how does how do you hold anybody yeah. ever get any attention? Hold your head above water. You know, how do you do that? But, you know, I am... Um, Although horror movies, I think, can cut through. If you yeah. make a genuinely yeah, horror, scary yeah. horror movie, 
it will find its audience. It's a, I mean, yeah, fans it's fans such a niche hungry. genre too. Like, like, like where yeah, horror fans are like so committed to that. Yeah. And they'll tweet about it and they'll talk about yeah. it and you know. They'll... And as a horror fan, because that's my favorite thing. Right. It's so rare for me to find a movie that I think is actually scary. It's like they make one or two a year, in my opinion. Yeah. They're just like so rare. So when one comes out, you I'm guys, fucking there. You know, I will I see it. I will see it twice. I'll see it three times. Yeah. I saw a cool movie the other when day. Would you uh, uh, Runaway Train with uh, Eric Roberts and John Voight? Is it new? That one. It, it's it's an old old movie, oh, like I was a seventies one. Like, okay, uh, I was gonna say new it, Eric Roberts. It's really what? weird. It's like a really weird premise for a movie because it's about these two guys who break out of a prison, uh, 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 maximum security prison in Alaska. And as part of their their uh, their prison break, they get on a train. And the train that they're on, this like freight train, the guy who's running it just has a heart attack. Like <laughs> mm. they didn't they didn't do anything. They didn't scare the guy. He's just like turning on the train. Then like, <gasps> and then the train Weird. becomes this like runaway. It's like an unstoppable thing where like there's these yeah, two the, unstoppable with Denzel, another runaway yeah. train movie. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, let me do some donos real quick. Yeah. JJ Marvin donated 25 bucks. Thank you. Says, can nice. you guys watch The Greatest Conductor, please? Yeah, uh, probably not. Angus McDonald donated 10, said, hey, guys, so sorry to interrupt again. You're not interrupting. I really don't want to interrupt the genius that is happening on the stream this lovely evening. <laughs> too many words. Uh, but, Sam, you need to choose. Bussy Gok. I admire you guys so much and need the answer to... To I can complete my Sam shot. Uh, Jesus it's, He's nuts. Thank you so much. Um, Pixossi89 says it's wrecked. It's in Danny's vision of the future. Right. Thank you very much. Weeds donated five. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. VR Spin donated 10 says to Mars. VR Spin donated five says Fatum. I agree with both of those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes to good both. Statum. Good statum. Good sta- statements. Yeah. Zach, someone says, have you seen X? I haven't seen it yet. I want to see it. I, I was at the premiere. It's it's oh, excellent. Right. Great movie. Yeah. Um, and then so, there was another. Sam, you know Ty, right? Yeah, we met Ty at a barbecue. A little bit, yeah. I met mean, Ty, I know Ty super barbecue. well. Yeah. Ty and um, I used to be like, uh, when we were single, we used to be, we used to be, uh, let's go, let's go meet girls, guys, together. Oh, you guys used Cal to going, cruise together? Going to prowl. <laughs> cruise for the. <laughs> this is the worst way to say it. <laughs> I was just like, hey, I'm gonna go to this party. Do you want to? We were just like, Let's do you want to go alone to this party? <laughs> I guess uh, we cruise. Zach, did you That's ever so see the sad. lighthouse? Somebody, a wrong star says, did you ever see the lighthouse? I'm sure you have. Yeah, right? of course. Zach's pussy posse. That's the only. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Me and Ty West just cruise around like no, no. That's the um, only impression I do anymore is Willem Dafoe in the lighthouse like tell me you don't like me beans. I love that part. I love that part when he's upset about his beans in the lighthouse. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Pussy posse. Okay. Uh, what else is going on? I'm just looking at chat right now. Uh, um, well, yeah, so talk about R rated movies. Okay. So uh, I started to show my daughter R rated movies. And I'm like, what's a good first one? We watched Matrix. She loved it. So I was like, okay, I think you'll like Fury Road. Is the Matrix R? Yeah. And the thing is, as I watch it, I'm like, this is barely R. And I it's think like it, someone told me that it best. started as it was released at PG 13, but then. You know, it actually came out right around the time of Columbine, I think. And so, yeah, was, so there's like trench coats and guns. So they're like, they right. it up. I, I thought um, it influenced Columbine, no? Or oh, maybe it did. Anyways, like, but I, I think it was, no, it's, it's now rated that, R. That's like, I thought where the trench coat thing came from. Maybe it did. No, um, but it's barely. No. I mean, it's barely R rated. And in fact, that scene is probably even if it even taking out that whole connection. That would be why it's radar because they shoot a whole bunch of stuff. People, you know. I but, I got um, two things to say about the Matrix. One, okay. that movie. It's a good movie. That movie's fucking lame. Like, uh, like the style in it, like the people, like the the fucking like. It's it, dated, dude. It's from the nineties. Yeah, no, it's in the nineties, uh, those people weren't people. cool. <laughs> I don't like, know, man. Then, I don't when know. I met you, you had fucking wraparound glasses and you wore a <laughs> rubber black trench coat. <laughs> You have like, frosted tips. Also, let's think about That's what that true. is in the movie, okay? So those people, what they look right, like Actually, movie, you did right? have frosted tips when I met you. Oh, I dyed the yeah. top of my head. Yeah. yeah. There wasn't yeah. frosted tips. Yes. I bleached. Oh, I didn't have frosted tips. I just dyed the top of my hair. I bleached 
No, no, it was I the bleached top of everything my hair? from here up. It was like oh, down to the yeah. roots, but Okay, so here's tips the are thing. Tips. Okay. So in the Matrix, when those people are entering the Matrix, their lives in the real world are fucking horrible. They wear like ratty out sweaters. They're basically homeless living in this ship. Okay, so then they finally get to be look however they want to. So don't you shit on them. Don't you shit on their coats. I don't they're know. Trying to just look, they're trying to look how they're best, you know? Uh, like their best is like, what, they like in their like whole like shitty submarine, they're a bunch of fucking theater nerds <laughs> trying to look cool. Yeah, dude, they think- Sam, if you want to watch really, really fucking lame, like The Matrix cranked up to a thousand, watch Jupiter Ascending. Equilibrium. Jupiter Ascending. Oh, oh Jupiter yeah. Ascending? Okay. Uh, oh. It is like the wackest, lamest, like Midwestern, sorry, Timmy, Midwestern kid who like never left the mall. What right. he thinks is cool. <laughs> and it is, it is um, so lame. I, I had a weird thought. Si- Go ahead. I had a weird thought about the matrix. I, I ran my, my half marathon today. Oh, and that's like, what I was going to Wait, you ran in it today? Yeah, I, I, it was 15 miles, but uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, overshot, sure. but, uh, uh, uh while I was like running it, I had this weird thought, and I don't know if this is like out there or something like that. You know, like the whole red pill thing. Yeah, it's yes. funny. Because Here we go. Those those. But red- watch them be like, it's funny. It's it, they really are right about most things. <laughs> but don't. But <laughs> like, don't oh my god. <laughs> don't you feel that the people that are red pilled, if you if you took like like the Matrix as like an analogy, they're more Agent Smith. Who is someone who sees the construct of the the matrix and wants to like burn everything down? Wait, what? Agent Smith, he doesn't want to burn everything that's down. He's he trying gets, to keep well, it going. But in the, later the, in the sequel, later in the in sequel, sequel, yeah, he gets to that point. Oh, where I didn't he see wants the to destroy it. But the thing is, is he wants, and and he does say that at the end of the first movies, I want to. He wants the yeah. He wants to, but he doesn't want it for freedom though. He wants. He, he wants humanity to just be broken yeah. so that they, they only created the matrix as a way to control the rebellious urge. And so he wants humanity to be humanity to be broken. So they don't have to have the matrix. Humans so that's my point humans. is that like everyone who's like red pilled is like, fuck society. You know, like they're like, Oh, no one gets it. All these sheeple. Let's just, well, fucking... I think it's anarchist versus sociopath though. Is the difference. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's like, he just fucking hates everybody, you know, like he's a, he's just like a, he's just kind of a, well, he's like, he becomes the virus that he says humanity is. Um, Abby Sally yeah. says, at least they haven't mentioned Elden Ring. You guys want to talk about Elden Ring oh, for now? Oh, God. I was just going <laughs> to... Dude, I was just chat hates on, us today. Uh, but just, I, the reason I brought dude, that whole thing up... Darren's like it's, the only uh, likable one, I think. I don't think so. I think I'm incredibly likable. I don't know. Who's the, I mean, Sam you did talk like about like one? being really proud of, how, of figuring out an, a, a creative way of killing someone. For a while yeah it was rad you don't like uh, to see entertainment where people die you like all your entertainment <laughs> to be like everyone's happy and healthy all the time eat my shit oh, true, true. <laughs> okay the whole the only reason i brought the matrix thing was to go back to another point is so the other r-rated movie i showed her was fury road which is fantastic and i think maybe fury that road was the last the cool r-rated movie you know what i mean or one last cool big ones you know what i mean yeah and that movie like oh my dude that movie's so fucking perfect it's quite that movie is i fucking crazy. love that movie. wait what year did nightcrawler crazy that it exists. nightcrawler was a dope ass yeah Night, i loved Night, nightcrawler. nightcrawler was right but you know what john wick and nightcrawler and then about six months later fury road john wick out. is so fucking corny man i love it anyways but like but that's also an r-rated movie that was a big deal you know and so those are all within about six seven months of each other and then you know mm. i don't know Oh, uh, someone says, what about Joker? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I better go. I better go. Oh, so, someone just asked. I, I don't really care about Joker. That's kind of all I can it. say I about hate, it. It's like, I, don't, I, I don't didn't hate, hate or, it. I didn't love it. No, I don't hate or like it. I don't hate or love it. I just was like, oh, there's a movie. But like, what I hate was all the, you know, the, the conversation around it. And just the fact that people think uh, that character needs to be like in an R-rated dark movie. Just like, okay. <laughs> you know, like, just You're tell done. me they don't really like it was it, it's oh, weird okay. though like there is something like weird about them making that movie because yeah. of because of the the shooting that happened because yeah. of a right you know like right i didn't even think about that yeah 
Somebody says uh, Trevor would have defended Joker. Is that true? Did Trevor like Joker? Yeah. I can't remember. He did, but he, I mean, he, did? he liked it. He, he Trevor liked it. He, like, yeah, he talked Trevor about liked how it. he liked it and laughed uh-huh. about it. But I don't, like, if it came down to a serious discussion, did he really <clears> like <throat> it? I don't know. Like, he probably liked things about it. It was impossible to know what Trevor liked and what he ironically liked. Yeah, yeah. He, those really were kind of the same thing for him. You know? Someone was Which, at... Someone, I like that stance. You know, if you like something, you like it for whatever reasons you like it. You like it. You know? Someone so. mentioned uh, 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 as a comment, what we, what did we do on his birthday? And funny enough is uh, uh, there was some of us out here in L.A. that got together and watched a, a very Trevor movie. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask what you watched. Uh, we watched Moonfall. It, it is. Yeah. Moonfall. <laughs> and it was so Trevor. Is it terrible? <laughs> it terrible. Was, like, yeah. Uh, but he would, be, he would have been so excited for that movie because he, oh, he would have loved it. He would have loved it. That's and he would have told Emmerich everyone job, it's right? his favorite movie. Isn't that Roland Emmerich? Yeah. 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 Oh, dude, Roland Emmerich, Trevor, Roland Emmerich, all those Roland Emmerich world ending movies. Trevor loved like the one about weather. Uh, day after tomorrow. The day after there, tomorrow. There's he literally a scene where Jake Gyllenhaal like runs down the hallway. He's running from library, cold. Being chased by cold like it's yeah. a raptor. Right. Global just, like, warming chases him. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting chased by global warming. Yeah, it's yeah. like, and it, um, he like, it like follows was, him around a corner. Then he he like dodges it and jumps into a room. And he like, he's like oh, global warming almost got the me. weather. Here it comes what, again. <laughs> One of my it's favorite moments of that, that is movie. is uh, uh, they're talking about how like this vortex is getting created, and uh, one of the scientists turns to uh, Dennis Quaid, and he's like, "Shouldn't the air be be uh, get heated up as it gets closer to the Earth?" And he just goes, "Yeah, but it's not." <laughs> That's, about amazing, the tomorrow, right, That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's like their explanation for what happens. Like it just did. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. I don't know. Shut what up. Yeah. <laughs> he should have just said, "Shut up." Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he should. He should have said, "Shut up." Show some tits, and there's some boobs flash <laughs> on the screen. Then it cuts to the next scene. They never mention it again. <laughs> there was that. There was that moment in Moonfall where, like, the Earth is like gonna get crushed by the moon and Patrick Wilson's the hero and they're trying to get him to go and save and he goes I got a lot going on <laughs> yeah that was amazing <laughs> got a lot going on right now <laughs> and Patrick Wilson it's like, we're all gonna die it's an apocalypse I got a yeah. lot going uh, on you don't you don't got a lot going on it's always and it's not a are. joke is there something it's not a yeah. joke there's always like something huge happening and then the hero's like I don't know man I'm divorced you know it's like okay but <laughs> yes. why don't you you know it's always like <laughs> that's oh, I exactly it. spend time with my daughter it's like every, there's fucking aliens like no one cares about your daughter you know like hey man I'm divorced okay yeah, like, <laughs> how many movies are like that right it's like <laughs> Ant Man, pro- Moonfall sounds like like how many fucking like action movies where the guys like I'm not gonna go do this cool thing that helps everybody. I have problems. I have Before to to- you ask me that, yeah. you should have thought: Is this guy divorced? Because yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Can we make? I want to make an action movie now where the guys like I'm not doing this. I'm divorced. <laughs> I gotta be divorced. <laughs> Allegra, yes, I did get the Josh Simmons print. Yes. Um. In the other room, we can't make fun of Bruce Willis anymore, can we? Where we make, yeah, fun we can, of him? we can, sure. Um, I mean, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel I'm like I can make fun of his condition, but I can make oh, fun right. of his terrible career choices. Do you know yeah. what was funny though? Was like, I, I heard about his, his choice to retire, uh-huh. and for like three or four days, I was like, yeah, makes sense, makes sense, and like. I'm like, oh, I bet people are just ripping into him for, you know, making shitty movies and eventually... And then I find out that it's because of this condition that he's retiring. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I was so like, like, Bruce Willis retired. Yeah, no, totally. He should. <laughs> right. Well, and it sounds like some of those, like, you know, he's making so many films a year, like, direct the video that he's barely in, and it sounds like people are kind of like, kind of just getting him in him and he wasn't really didn't really even really have much say in it you know just kind of being oh no you don't shit. know about this oh no 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 oh no it was all a, it was it was literally a scheme that he was doing okay. so he he linked up with this producer and what they would do is they would they would get a script that was just like a piece of shit uh-huh. they would raise three million dollars they'd give one to bruce one to the producer, and then the final million dollars, they would use that to make the movie. They'd go shoot it in Estonia or like Bulgaria or someplace uh-huh. like that. 
they would bang this movie out. Bruce would do two days on set. Wow. And he'd be like, everything else, you got to shoot a double. And uh, oh, so he would show up, shoot for shoot intensely for two days, get a million bucks and be out. And he wow. did that. Like you'd make like seven or eight of those a year. Now, do you so think it was like it was it was a complete cash out. There was, totally. no, there was zero like artistic interest. Right. From and anybody do you think involved. part of his reason for wanting to do that, though, was because he knew he was like kind of starting to diminish. You know what I mean? Who can say? Yeah. But huh. so like that ties into what I was talking about earlier about with like the whole voodoo thing. You go through voodoo and you see all the rentals out and how much shit is out there with like to act like I saw this. There's this movie with uh, who's that actor that sucks? Uh, 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 Jared Leto. No, Timmy, well, help him out here. The other no, Jared, the actor that sucks, Timmy. You know Jared this. Leto. He works less. Uh, Emil Hirsch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching this. <laughs> uh, so uh, there's this movie that he's in that has you see the trailer for it and it's just John Cusack the whole time at a house on the phone. And it's like yes. this, there's this pattern of people of this like level of like, Oh, I can probably get some money to do two days on this movie. We'll shoot the whole thing. Mel Gibson does the same thing where they make mm. these fucking movies where they're on, they're somewhere in a phone, like on the phone. There's this like Scott Eastwood one where Mel Gibson's his therapist. And so Mel Gibson's <laughs> in the trailer the whole time oh, in man. one room on a phone. <laughs> Money plane. Yeah, and then has... they shoot him out in a day and they pay him, you know, half the budget. And then mm. they, they literally try and just con people into watching them or renting them. Because the dude's name's yeah. on the poster. Well, there, Which there's, is a, crazy. there's a friend of mine who. Uh, Which is killing movies. It's dishonest. Right. It's fucked yes. up. It's, it. The, the, it is killing another... the, the movies. Like, like it yes, is making people not yeah. interested in them. And, and there's another yeah. angle on that, too, besides, the, besides the, the famous people phoning it in thing. There's also the other angle. Like, I have a friend who, she, like, she has never seen a lot of movies. So I'm always sharing, like, you should check this out and check this out. And she, when she's never a roommate, was like, well, she's always watching, like, uh, all those different shark movies on Amazon, you know, like uh, how they make a different horror shark movie every like yeah. month, you know, and it put it on Amazon. <laughs> That's the other thing. So there's people that not, and they might get some random B, B or Z list celebrity in there, but they're just like basically making these monies for fucking tax breaks and to like, you know, just to, to funnel cash, you know, and yeah. Just, and just dumping content, not films, not art, not anything, just content onto these streaming services so to get money on it. And then people, just Joe Schmo sitting at home and like they're going to funnel past how many good movies just to see some bullshit shark thing just because the cover looks neat or something. You know what I mean? It's like, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's really fucking, fucking scam. Yeah, you know, it sucks. Yeah. That's why I like things like Shutter where they curate the con like what's on there. Like they have people going over it, like choosing what they're gonna show, you know. Do you there's think a lot of trash on Shutter though, man? Yeah, but at I, least I like Shutter. Like, I Yeah, but there's trash that people made, you know what I mean? Like even if you don't like the movie, yeah. all that stuff on there is stuff, stuff that people like actually wanted to make and they tried to you know like, That's true. That's put true. their heart into it. That's and you know, yeah, there's stuff that isn't good on there, but somebody out there likes it and at least someone wanted to make it, you know. Do you think the yeah. the uh rise in popularity of streaming over uh actually having physical media uh has contributed to this? Because then it, it makes it yes. the the bar of like how much it like costs to like distribute something is so low. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, for sure. Also, but, though, it's just so easy for people to just, like, put zero zero thought into what they watch now. It's just like, good, 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 boom. You know, it's just, <laughs> right. Uh, you know, yeah. we're going to sound it, so old it, talking about this. Right, but like, well, it's like, it, like, imagine Netflix mm. added that Netflix added that option a year or two ago where it's like, you just hit a button that says, it says, watch anything. And it just, like, throws something on for you. <laughs> Don't pick it out. Yeah. It just... Yeah. Someone just Dude. said Shutter, aka the Phantasm Two Network. I'm going to nerd you out right now. <laughs> Phantasm Two is the one chapter of that saga that is not on Shutter because of the rights. Oh, really? Whoa, yeah. Timmy! And that Whoa. one fucking rules. Yeah, that one's that's the one where the uh, the uh, they couldn't get the that's the one where the only one where Mike, uh, the actor that portrays Mike, is not in it. Um, they got yeah. uh, James LaGrosse to play Mike. So. Mike, Mikey, the rest of the series is all three original actors playing all parts. That's one thing I like about it is it's like spans 40 years. And it's the same three fucking guys. Yeah, it's know? a, a regular, regular Antoine Donnell. <laughs> this is kind <laughs> yeah, of an unrelated one, totally. but speaking of old 
horror movies from the 80s. Huh? Have you guys seen the Blob remake from the 80s? Have we talked Never. about that on the stream before? No. Uh, oh my God. Guys, it is I've seen that, phenomenal. Yeah. That's what it's, I've heard. It's excellent. It's Don- like the greatest, perfect 80s horror movie. It's like the effects are incredible. Kevin Dillon is the lead and he's like <laughs> hilarious, like uh-huh. not intentionally, but like it's right. really entertaining watching him. It's great creature design. The kills are rad. It's a fucking fun movie. I highly recommend. It. Have you I, seen? You know what? Because the original you... Blob kind of sucks. So yeah, the original Blob is like Steve McQueen. Steve is in McQueen. It, and it's yeah. like it's a, it's a total. It's it's kind it's... of like a Bruce Willis movie from his later years, where it really was yeah. a money grab because it's actually what we were. Just uh, I think Invasion of the Body Snatchers had come out, and they're like, yep. oh, teens want to go to the drive-in and watch yep. an alien kill people. Three All right, stuff. the Blob, and like you yeah. never see the Blob. And yeah. it's like totally cynically made, but the remake yeah. is fucking awesome. Yeah, I want to see that. Uh, Donovan, like, they call me Mellow Yellow. Donovan Leach, his son's in that movie. <laughs> uh, I think he, he's like one of the first people to die in it. Um, we use a Donovan song in my movie. Gotta, Donovan had to personally sign off Chip. on it. And he said uh, he offered to re record it himself <laughs> for less money. He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll re-record that song for you because like, there's a whole licensing thing that these musicians can like make more oh. money if they just like re-record their their old songs. Then they get a hundred percent of the thing as opposed to like a twenty percent of the. This is boring, but anyway, Donovan <laughs> had to like get Someone into my. Said, uh, if you were like, no, we're good. Someone <laughs> so said, I was uh, like, well, what the- if you re- what if you re-recorded it and I didn't like the re-recording? Like, yeah, I know yeah, I like yeah. the original. Uh, you doing that for your movie? Is that what you said, Zach? It's in my movie. We got oh, it. It is in your but movie. Okay, great. Have yeah. you guys seen? I, I recently saw Christine, and I've never, never seen, seen that. It. It's seen it. so it good? fucking good. Have you yeah. haven't seen it? Really? It's John Carpenter. Yeah, Carpenter doing man. a Stephen King thing. It's. Do you know? You know the Karma Police video? Yeah, that's Chris. They they are. That's a Christine reference. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Rabbit in Your Headlights video. No, I don't know the Karma Police video. Karma Police was, it's just a car on fire chasing a man running down the street. and Isn't that Rabbit in Your Headlights? No, Rabbit in the Headlights is a is a guy walking down the middle of a tunnel, and he keeps getting hit by like all the cars driving by the, in right. the tunnels. And then oh, he like okay. rips off his shirt, and then the car hits him, and glass goes everywhere. Uh, but That's like, like oh, such right, right, right. a late '90s music video. Yeah, he's like some sort of am. super super hobo or something, right? He's like, uh, or some sort of super a- homo. Hobo, hobo. Uh, I thought you said super homo. I was like, what the oh. fuck, Jimmy? <laughs> uh, isn't he like an angel or something at the end, or he shoots light out of it? Or is that, I might be thinking of something else. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. You're right. There's a lot of '90s, late '90s, early 2000s videos like that. But um, yeah, the the car on fire with Tom York in the back seat. That's like if you if you watch Christine, you'll be like, oh, that's they're just doing that, and that's the the cinematography, like the the way Christine looks is awesome, and it has that John Carpenter score too. It's it's one of my favorite John Carpenter movies. I, I saw it like, wow. this year and was like so surprised that, and I don't want to overhype it because it is kind of like a small movie at the same time, but it's cool. Um, someone said uh, the eighties blob and the thing are remakes of two goofy horror things. Uh, the original thing is actually fucking awesome from the fifties, and it's a completely different story because it's they're both adaptations of a book. But the eighties one adapts a book, uh, the fifties one is totally different. But it's actually really great. I just wanted to throw that. Cool. Out. Uh, someone says, "Have you ever seen the stuff?" Yeah, I love the stuff. That's what the white goop, right? That like tastes yeah. good and people eat it. And it yeah, it's coming out of the ground and they just start selling it as like a dessert. Yeah, I feel like I tried to watch that and I couldn't get into it. It's insane. It's one of those Larry Cohen and what's the other guy? Bob Clark. Uh, it's some of the Maniac Cop guys. There's like a whole squad of like goofy horror guys that uh, kind of made more satirical, silly ones. And that's one of them. The Crow is Wait getting a minute. I'm a re- Ceridactyl says, did you guys see that The Crow is getting a reboot yes, with Bill Skarsgård? I heard that. Is but that here's the thing. true? Let's see him. Let's see him make it, though. I mean, they've been talking about crow reboots for 25 years, you know. So I don't know. Zach, you, you think could Bill know would be good for that. You could Bill know Skarsgård the crow. Is the, he's the guy that played Pennywise, right? He's yeah. he's in my movie. He's in this movie. He's in your movie. Oh yeah. Who's he play? <laughs> One of the leads. One of the leads. Okay, cool. Yeah. Wait, you, you wait. Did you read my script, Timmy? Yeah, I did read your script. He's so, he's the guy that's there. He's the okay. guy in the beginning. Okay, okay. 
That makes sense. That's He's great. good. Um, anyways, would he, yeah. I mean, would he be so, a good crow? Uh, I, mean, I can see it. I think he would. I'm only basing it off of because I saw him in that Hulu miniseries that was Stephen Kingy with him in it, where he played like a weird, creepy little guy. Uh, the thing that's weird for me is he's kind of got these bug eyes and like a big part of the the visual appeal of the crow or the 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 makeup. I mean, no, no, he can. No way. I mean, I feel like his face would be like actually kind of incredible. He's got a, great face. Crow. He's got like a very amazing about. face. Like yes. Bill's face is like kind of insane in a great way. It's like he's handsome, but also there's like something like a little off about him. Okay. It's. It's. I think. I think you'd crush that. Actually, right. I can see that. Yeah. When I heard that. Well, first I thought they meant that. He's other, also very big. Guys? But as he's as tall? I was, he's, tall? he's very tall. He's very fat. You I can't see it. He's, he's obese. <laughs> Nobody knows this. He's actually he's very actually huge. Fat. <laughs> that is such a fucking funny thing to say about like a movie yeah. star. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Brad like, Pitt. Nobody knows this. He's actually very fat. Fat. like. <laughs> Like I don't think that's Brad true. Pitt? No, it is. You wouldn't know it unless you knew him in real life. But he is very fat. <laughs> he's super fat. And no, Dallas I don't think Brad Pitt is fat. Yes, it's, it's one of Hollywood's best kept <laughs> secrets. Uh, the real fat ass. It's all think, the angles. Are Camera you angles. sure Why that this person? Why do you think person... he's always eating? Why do you think he's always eating snacks in Ocean's Eleven? The guy. Have you seen Ocean's Eleven? Shrimp, 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 shrimp. He's always shrimp and ice cream. He's sucker. He's crazy. But yeah, yeah. You, I saw him. I saw him in camera. person. He's so fat. So Are you fat. sure it was him? <laughs> yes, it was, it was Brad Pitt. But I'm telling you, like spherical fat. I don't mean like <laughs> like bloated. You ask, he's, you ask Steven Soderbergh if you move the camera rock six inches, fucking fatty. You got to have it right on. You got to get that right, perfectly yeah. shot. It was definitely you know, him. these trick what photographers was, out there in Hollywood. What you was, know, it's all camera. <laughs> Why do you think they even have what a cinematography he, Oscar? It's for hiding fatties. What was he doing when you saw him? He was working at a pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. His career must not be going well because he works at the CVS. You did not see Brad Pitt. Yeah, I did. I swear to you, it was. No, <laughs> mom, mom, this was just a fat clerk oh, at the man. CVS. It, I'm pretty sure it was Brad Pitt. Right there, you said pretty sure, Mom. <laughs> well, uh-huh. who knows these days with the internet? You know, you know? <laughs> I, 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 I'm to, sure it was with the internet. Uh, Creeper Girl Next Door says I'd watch the Crow remake if the lead was very fat. Absolutely. Oh uh, well, go watch the Crow City of whatever it is with Eddie Furlong, and your <laughs> wish has been granted. <laughs> it was right before. By the way, Tara oh, Reid. Also in that movie, so double trouble. Wait, that was like, wasn't that like a TV pilot and then they didn't go to series, so it just became... You're like thinking a- of Mulholland Drive. <laughs> I get the Crow and Mulholland Drive mixed up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Lord. really into this. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Fat Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> secret. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what was the what was the joke we were like dying laughing at yesterday at the studio? There was some bit that was like, "Oh fuck, it's gonna kill me." Never mind, it'll come to me. Someone says SSS has turned into TMC gossip. I'll catch you guys when the movie is out later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, out of here. <laughs> now they're like riffing. Uh, I don't come just talk about fat riffs, Brad Pitt. Okay? Like he's a person too. They're legitimately. <laughs> yeah. Gossiping about Brad Pitt being fat? <laughs> this is just TMZ. <laughs> if I want to watch this, yeah. I'd be we watching TMZ because I know when it's on. <laughs> uh, oh, I. Ah, fuck. Never mind. Are you trying to think that bit we were doing yesterday? It is killing me. Dude. No, I, you know, during my stream, I found something that I really wanted to show on here that was so funny, but I, I, I it's, it's somewhere on my computer and I, I can't, I can't find it. Uh, I found Trevor and I used to do this big dog bit and I found all the t-shirt mock-ups that we, that we had. Oh yeah. We were talking about that another, another time. So we're talking about that and all, all those Facebook algorithm shirts that get generated on ads. Yeah, and we're talking about Big Dog. We're talking about coed, uh, not coed naked. Big Johnson. Coed shirts. naked. We're about those a while ago. Big Johnson. We're talking about making new ones called Large Johnson. 
No, but but uh, Trevor and I like like when we would do shows with Darren, we we had a bit that we would do. We had all these mock-ups of these shirts, and I f- I recently found them on my computer. But I f- I gotta. Uh, Staten Islander says, "Were you guys influenced at all by the day today?" Sam, you liked that, right? Wasn't that yeah, I liked that, the day uh, today. Oh yeah, shows? they were. He was. Was that that person was asking about Chris Morris, and I just oh, watched oh, right. Same person, a yeah. Chris Morris movie. Um, that a domain was in. What's it called? Uh, my day will come. Or uh, it's pre- it was pretty good. <laughs> it says Brad Pitt does all his own eating. <laughs> well, I did. It's funny because I watched Ocean's Eleven recently. I have no idea why. And I was looking at the it's IMDb great. trivia, the and they were up. like, Brad Pitt had to eat forty pieces of shrimp in that scene. I was like, <laughs> that that is insane. Had to. Yeah. That is true. That had is fucking to. insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, He's Brad Pitt. He could have yeah, he a like chosen that. not to, and B right. asked not to. <laughs> right. He was probably like, "Yeah, that'll be cool. I'll just eat a bunch of shrimp today." <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. You get to that level too. It's like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, Ocean's Eleven, and then I watch Ocean's Twelve for the first time. Uh, that one's weird, but I, I really like the first one quite a bit. Uh, Ocean's Twelve is insane. So Ocean's Sarah and I watched yeah. Ocean's Eleven. We were like, "This is good. Let's 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 keep it going." And then yeah. we put on Ocean's Twelve, and like ten minutes in, you're like, "This is a very different movie, and it's fucking off the rails." It's, it's like they insane. jumped the shark. And like, it's and yeah, crazy. and then you get to the end, and like, I got to the end. I watch it with my daughter because we watched all the Mission Impossible's like six months ago. She loved them. I was looking for other like cool actor schemey heist kind of movies, and so we eventually ended up on those. And I watched Ocean Twelve, and afterwards, I'm like, I have no fucking clue, like. I'm not really sure what happened in that movie. And she's like, that's the thing. Like they didn't, and my daughter, like supposedly understood all of it. She's like, yeah, they didn't really do anything. They did this. I'm like, okay, but uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I had a hard time following it. It's still like enjoyable watching handsome people in Europe, I guess, but <laughs> it is funny. Like, like Brad Pitt is so goddamn good looking that like, that is a big part of it. It's like, I'm just watching right. it. And I'm just like, I watch anything he does just like this. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, He's okay. fascinating. Enough. But then it's crazy think about that movie. Then it's him and Clooney. And oh yeah. my God, who plays Brad Pitt's girlfriend in that movie? A Catherine Zeta Jones, like all these like gorgeous people just kind of hanging out in these pretty areas. And it's like, I yeah. don't really care if I understand the heist or not, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> It's like everybody. Me, that was fucking great. How you everybody looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so happy they're all friends with each other. Well, and you know, that's why they made it. That's why they made that movie the way they did. They hung out at George Clooney's like mansion or whatever in Italy and like just partied all the time and shot that movie. Like, that's why yeah. that like there's a mansion they're at in that movie. That's I think is just his place. You know, they're just like, let's just hang out here, get wasted and talk about amazing money. And <laughs> talk about. Pizza. I hope to God George Clooney is like happier than all of us. Because if he's not, yeah. then like there's no hope. Right, because the guys had a pretty fucking charm life at this point, you know. Yeah. So if he's it, not, then. Oh my God. But it, Wait, did he get divorced? It is just... funny because you're you're talking about Ocean's Twelve, right? Yeah. Cause Bruce Willis is in Ocean's Twelve, and Hasn't you're like, is. I wonder, I wonder where he got the idea of just like scamming movies like that. <laughs> right. Where did Bruce Willis get this idea of hanging out in Europe just to, and just making money for doing nothing? <laughs> now, that should be a South Park episode. Like, Bruce Willis planning a heist and they do it kind of like in an Ocean's way, but the heist is all about, like, we'll get a budget to make a movie. I'll do it for two days. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It kind of writes itself. It'd be, uh, it's you can do a reboot of the producers. <laughs> it's Bruce Willis and the yeah. other guy. Uh, yeah, the idea that he like shoots this movie and then they like do a getaway and they like count their cash <laughs> and they're like high fiving and shit. <laughs> and oh some boy, someone oh has boy. to fit inside a duffel bag for no reason. Yeah, we should do an animated um, show. We're doing an animated movie, isn't one an animated movie? Uh, Mythic, I thought you knew that. Mythic comes on to my streams. I thought we talked about that. I forget how Mythic somebody says uh, or Adam Sin. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Timmy. No, I'm done. What's up? I don't think Adam Sandler, I don't think you can paint him with the same brush as Bruce Willis, because I th- I think Adam Sandler, as much as, as society and some of us here might have beef with some of his the quality of some of his later movies. Sure. I don't think he's doing it to just get paid. I think no. he's legit 
having fun. I think he likes the movies that he's making. Right. And I think if he could, he would make them as good as possible. Yeah. I think I, that Bruce Willis at the end of his career, that was not on the table at all. He did not right. give a fuck. He just wanted the money. That's it. I think the difference is the presence or absence of cynicism. I think that's the thing. Is yeah. Sandler yeah. wants to have fun. And so Netflix cuts him a deal for him and his buddies to make a bunch of dumb comedies. Fucking great. Yeah. You know, that's great. I you think know, he would probably want to make those dumb comedies for a lot less money than that. Cause he probably really likes making them with those people. Yeah. It's like his friends sure. hanging out. It's like, yeah, that's what it is, man. And like, yeah, they, it's they not made his like, fault. Uh, they pay him 20 million bucks. And also I'll say, I'll say this is that like a lot, like there are types of Adam Sandler movies and some of them are, are Adam Sandler verse movies and those Adam Sandler verse movies like Grown Ups and Hubie Halloween have Oof. very very little plot and are just like hey let's throw a bunch of jokes into something mm -hmm. like let's like like have yeah. fun and throw a bunch of jokes in and product that's, placement's a good point that kind of steps on what I'm saying that, that's pretty cynical there's a shit ton of product placement. And those oh, Adam he does, movies. yeah. But well, but is that because I so, have to so the thing is with the with the with those Adam Sandler verse movies are they like it's easy to write, you know, and they are like entertaining to kids and stuff that like aren't in like people who aren't really paying attention to plot. But he also does do movies like you know, and not that this is a great movie, but like uh, Murder Mystery right. has a plot. Right. And it has, you know, like a structure to it mm -hmm. and an idea behind it. And it was probably harder to write murder mystery than it was Hubie Halloween. Right. Someone said in chat, I would hope so, so. kind of like Miss March. It's like, uh, no, do, they, do people think that was like your Trevor's passion project or something? But <laughs> I mean, that I mean when we made Miss March, like we did not, it was not a, uh, we didn't write the original script. It was no, given to no, us. No, it was, uh, yeah. you guys got hired and, to do it. Yeah. But it wasn't, it also wasn't like, just pay me. It was like, right. we wanted to make it as good as possible. Yeah, sure. Like Trevor and I was, wanted to make that to... movie great. We, we had every, we yeah. tried our hardest. We just fucked it up. You know? it was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't. It's uh... like, it's like some sketches you, you want them to be great. And they, they just, despite your best efforts are bad. That happened to us with the movie. You oh, know, it's, sure. just, it's a bummer. I mean, yeah. I, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but if it, it seemed like the uh, the movie was like if if there is like uh, not polar opposite, but an opposite of a passion project of like uh, <laughs> where it's not it wasn't your ideal situation of what you wanted to be doing, but you tried to make the best. Right, of it. right. That's true. Right. That's true. Okay. I would have rather made a bunch of different movies before a movie right. about two guys breaking into the Playboy Mansion, but that's that was the low hanging fruit that was available. Right. Someone says, "LOL, y'all are out here talking trash on Joker and defending Adam Sandler." Yes, we are. That is exactly what we're doing. You are following. And also, I, I think that our also, conversation is a bit more nuanced than that. I think that obviously it's the more nuanced Joker than that. is we're not just saying like, this film. Sucks. This is good. That's not what we're saying. And also, yeah. like, like the the talking trash on Joker was like you guys going, yeah, I didn't really care for it. Like, move it on. Yeah. <laughs> you oh oh what we didn't like love Joker like that's also, us talking yeah, trash. Yeah. <laughs> and I know we're getting close to this point, but once Joker has made like. 100 movies over 30 years then you know because we're talking about adam sailor's like whole career but we are i think we're approaching 50 joker movies but you know it'll be also here's an interesting thing i think that you have to look at people as people are as valuable as, artistically as valuable as their best work you know not their worst like and that's that's hard to to keep uh -huh. to keep that as a filter through which you look at somebody's artistic merit but but i mean like Adam Sandler made Billy Madison in The Wedding Singer, and I, and he acted in Uncut Gems and Punch Drunk Love. The dude is a fucking banger. You yeah, can't guy, take it away from him. He also made Hubie Halloween and and Click right. and The Cobbler and these other movies that I think are atrocious. But like, I will always think that he's a fucking yeah, diamond. The you know? guy has what they call it. He's got it, man. I yeah. mean, fucking. I mean, Bruce Hattie Willis, Hattie. dude. Like, he yeah. did Death Becomes Her and Die Hard. Die Hard. And yeah. Like, dude, what the fuck? He's amazing. The, the day he retired, I watched Die Hard with a Vengeance, and that was the first time I'd seen that one in a long time. That is a that's fucking a great one, good right? movie. Yeah, that's a, I, I'm not you know super into Die Hard two, but one and three are fucking. I mean, obviously one's not great, but Die Hard three is so fucking. It's a blast. It's what so I heard fun. about yeah. three was that it wasn't a Die Hard movie. No, it was a it was a different script called it's, Simon Says. Uh, called and then Simon they, Says. Uh, oh, really? They eventually worked it into a Die Hard picture, but um. 
because I think they finally realized like, well, we can't just do them in one location anymore. And so someone probably had the script. They're like, Hey, let's make New York city, the isolated location. And oh, mm. I, that's, I'd love it. It's Great. So and Sammy Jackson, I mean, what a perfect idea that was. Yeah. Sammy Jacks. I don't know. Yeah, I, I heard a good I hate yeah. people say that, but it just rolls off the tongue sometimes. I hate it when people call a celebrity by a nickname like their fucking drinking buddy. That's only know. their nickname. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't mean but, to say it like um, that. Anyways, the you know, the, the Jackson, chemistry right. that they had almost immediately, the scene that they have in the uh the police station where they're on the phone and they're both kind of like getting yeah. along shit talking jeremy irons is great yeah like yeah. immediately yeah. these guys have like conflict but also like they they see eye to eye on some level yeah they, uh, well and those two those Dude. are two guys that's what 93 or four something those are those are two guys they were at their fucking i mean bruce wilson samuel jackson ran around the time I mean, they was i shouldn't even, i think they shot that either right around before after Pulp Fiction so they were just like they were on fucking fire right then both those guys you know and uh, you know what's great so Justin Long uh, who's in my movie and who I've gotten film, yeah. close with he you know he was in that Die Hard with Bruce Willis oh well, yeah which one was that like Die Hard the, 4 the fourth one with Timothy yeah. Oliphant's the vil villain yeah, that's yeah. the one with Kevin he Smith right he has the right? fucking yeah. best stories man from really? shooting that movie they're out of control I got we gotta <laughs> I gotta try and get him on on his self like just to tell Bruce Willis stories. I don't know if he will or not, but they're they're like they're amazing. They're I amazing. Bet they are, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one I haven't seen that since the theater. I've not. I don't need to. I, don't so, I didn't. I didn't love it. So yeah. you just you just because the problem. Sorry, the problem with that one is that Bruce Willis turns into a superhero. Yep. Yeah, and then it's exactly like he's not supposed to be a fucking superhero. He's no. like supposed to get hurt. He's supposed and, like, to have immortal. the absolute. He's supposed to end every Die Hard movie with a bloody. Uh, yeah. white undershirt on because he's just right. had the shit beat out of him for two hours, you know, yeah. like yeah. And then the, yeah, that one he's like his head shaved and he's back more in that stoic Bruce Willis thing. And there's that part where he ramps the car up the thing yeah. and blows up the helicopter. And then he's just standing there. It's like, <laughs> what is this, man? Are you? The yeah, this is not Die Hard anymore. John McClain, you yeah. know. Yeah, he's like, I got a plan. I'm gonna do like. There's a difference between him deciding that the best way to handle something is like ramp a car off of something right. than him in a moment of desperation tying a, a fire hose around a hose. his waist yeah. and yeah. jumping off a oh, building. Oh, God, so br What are you doing, you dumb motherfucker? And he's like, Yeah, and he hates it. Yeah, head. like he's, he does everything yeah. out of necessity. Um, there, there's a point in franchises where they evolve the main character and it doesn't work. Like the new Texas Chainsaw, they're like, Hey, let's make Texas, let's make Leatherface. Michael Myers and didn't work, you know. So you just reminded me of something that I think mm -hmm. we should talk about, okay. which is uh, politics. Let's talk about something that's that's oh, happening no. <laughs> in politics okay. right now, uh, and okay. that is uh, that I just found out that Watertown, South Dakota, has a figurehead mayor. Correct. Oh yes, we oh, talked yeah. about that. Me and you and your brother were talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> so they, we should design a campaign like could we get timmy williams elected the figurehead mayor of watertown south dakota i bet we could baby no you can't it will <laughs> never happen but i would love to why the why because why? people here would not vote for me period why because you're, well, because i was on an r-rated tv show because i'm too young because i'm not rich because i'm not racist because i'm not republican that's why i mean it's, i mean like, let's on let's give it some thought though like let's let's spin it i you don't know? know man i've watched because right, what are the things that we're talking about different in this state try and run for something and not that i even would want to be the thing so wait wait are you serious if you were racist do you think you would have a better shot of being mayor I'm not. I, that was me being facetious, but you know what I mean. It's okay. like that old school, fucking super conservative, fucking you know, yeah. squeaky clean white Bible guy. Like uh, that's who wins elections here in the state, and uh, I never would. But I think it'd be funny to yes to run me for the figurehead mayor because he apparently has some power. I don't know. They've only just done this. The, the new mayor just got elected. I think this past summer or the summer before, and then they hired a city manager. So really now the city council's in charge. But he still has some power, but it just started. We used to have just a regular mayor for years. So I think, you know what? Maybe that's a good time, Sam, because they're still getting used to the concept. Maybe they're like, maybe we should just elect some fucking silly son of a bitch. Says yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the, the real Michael Jackson said, turn Watertown to Whoretown. Now, that, that would be great. I bet it would be bad for your campaign that the real Michael Jackson did say that. 
Yes, the idea and the person saying it would both <laughs> not help my cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Every mayor is a figurehead mayor. Yeah. I mean, well, no. I mean, they can say they can put something into action. Whereas in this case, it's like there's other people, you know, with the same, you know, with, with the same amount of, uh, of of say on things, you know. So. The mayor isn't going to let you use the state's computer if you keep calling him racist. <laughs> that seems like the a Trevor computer. joke. That's like a That's Trevor's fucking, house. That is a Trevor yeah. joke, dude. He would, that he, was a good I remember Trevor one time, joke. there were several times where I would invite him out here and be like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not coming there. <laughs> Which funny. is an appropriate answer. Well, Trevor always had this plan he wanted to do where he was going to fly to Watertown get a hotel, take a shit ton of selfies, go around to all the like bars and restaurants, post a ton of stuff, and then fly back to LA without hitting you up. And like so never tell see me. his Instagram feed, be like, what the fuck? And, and he'd be like, oh yeah, I was in town for, for a work thing. You know what? So I would be, I'd be, like, I would be really upset right away. Well, you know how I am. So I'd be really upset right away. And I have to talk to him, but then I would like, I would think that was so fucking funny like two days late. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it would just show that he was thinking about you. Huh? He was thinking yeah. about you so much he flew to your town to to, to do this prank. Yeah, well, that's the know? thing. Well, that's the thing is like every time he would like fuck with me on Twitter, he would clear it with me first. I told him like, dude, you don't have to do that. I know that you're doing all, the, all of it. I love it. It's always funny. Because, <laughs> you know, like there are all the times where he would paint me as right wing or like yeah. he would just like say random fat jokes to me. You know, just stuff <laughs> Wait, like that. Wait, what was my favorite one that he got you oh. on Twitter was where everyone pray for my friend Timmy. He's been diagnosed with stage four. What was it? I, I read it at his at his. Uh, I read it at the memorial. Yeah. What show. was the stage, stage four? Stage four tiny weenie disease. Little or dick something? syndrome or something. <laughs> stage four little dick syndrome. Something. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Somebody uh, in chat, please I'll have to look find it. Up. it. But, well, and then and then we went out back and forth for a little bit because I'm like I told you that in privacy or something like that. And, you know, stage four wiener shrinkage. What the fuck wiener was smallness. It? Stage four wiener smallness. I think is what was it that was. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, stage I, four wiener smallness. Wait, so funny. Was so I think cool. I figured out the thing we were laughing about. Uh, what? what was it when we were you? You know, we're watching this and. There was a fat joke. Was it that thing? There's a fat joke in the movie, and Zach was like, "I'm worried about this, the about the fat jokes in the movie." And I was like, "Right, I can make fat jokes." No, that was. I was like, "That was me and Timmy. We can make fat jokes. We're allowed." (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Well, that was when I, uh, not long before I started losing weight, was Trevor and I had a drunken phone call. He's like. You were right, Mars, like right now, or no? Oh, yeah, because I was at the point at that time it was going to be a live action movie, and uh, he was like, "You're too fat for fat jokes." I'm like, "Yeah, I know, man. I really like, I <laughs> like, and I just immediately agree with him because I knew it. I knew it. You know, I was just like, I know. It's like he's like because it would just seem mean. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is this did occur to me. One thing someone says, hold on, I'm sorry, Sam. That's a funny bit. Someone says Sam Timmy and Brad Pitt can make fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that might hurt your campaign, this is something yes. that, that occurred to me, is the sidecar video. <laughs> Timmy getting What's in a that? sidecar video. No, because um because sidecars are weird here. Like sidecar is like a weirdo here with me, you know? So like people don't hold him up high. Oh, no, I just mean like... like, Me as a fat guy. Zach, you've seen the video, right? You guys watched it on Newsboys. Me as a fat guy trying to get out of my friend's sidecar. (laughs) Like, remember that? Like, they'd be like, this guy... what I did with him. This guy's not one of us. He can't even get out of a sidecar. Right. Oh, no. Sidecar (laughs) driver is the only guy with sidecars around here. Oh, okay. Uh, So, I think I told you that, but uh, after the sidecar video was shot, I was uh, doing a... I was going to go do my friend, a friend of mine, uh, I'm friends with a bunch of people from the Omaha stand-up scene, and I was going to go do uh, their festival that year. And, you know, it was one of those things where, like, I submit to pay the submission fee, even though, like, they'll probably put me on whatever. So instead of putting in a submission video uh, of stand-up, I just gave them that for my submission video <laughs> and uh, the si- of me struggling like hell to get out. I'm getting out of the sidecar, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of it. And, like, my fat butt is, like, hanging out. I can't get out of that fucking thing. And I submitted that as like my stand-up submission, and the the guy that was like choosing me is like, "That's the best submission video I've ever seen." <laughs> He's like, "I watched it so many times." 
That must have really sucked for the people who were really trying hard on their stand up submissions. Oh, no, they all got into it. I, I was <laughs> yeah, one of those I was guys like. like I, I, I was one of those like friend guys that like we'll just throw him yeah. in on some shows because he'll he's just gonna come hang out you know so <laughs> give me a Sturgis near you now Sturgis is about six hours drive west. Anyways. So uh, Sturgis gave you COVID last year. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah technically. Yep. Yeah. Oh, either that or the state fair. I never did figure that out. They went to both. <laughs> mm, that bobbing for apples. <laughs> Everybody used the same water. The, is the kiss and boots this year? Omaha stand -up <laughs> yeah. My favorite Omaha stand up is actually named Zach. Zach Peterson. Check him out. Anyway, what? Hey, it, Sam. Yeah. Zach. What you reading? <laughs> what, what you reading? <laughs> uh, nothing. I'm, I'm busy right now. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, I, I haven't finished. I'm like right at the end of, uh, Tale of Two Cities, and I haven't finished it yet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not reading anything right now, really. I need to get back on the train. What about you, Z? What you reading? reading? This book, this book, <laughs> this book called "The Serpent and the Rainbow." Oh, oh. is that? Uh, but it's not. It's it's nonfiction. It's a it's a yeah voodoo. Isn't they did make a movie about right. it, but it's that just hit Shutter. I've been meaning to watch it. That's uh oh, did it? Yeah, Wes Craven. It's Wes Craven. Wes Craven, yes. I heard it's not. How good. is it, Zach? Is it good? It's good. It's good. I like it. Well, I'm really interested in like voodoo rituals. I just think they're fascinating. So, I, right. I'm, uh, Zach, do you like 1000 Homo DJs? I love that song. I fucking love that Black Sabbath song they do. Um, you guys ever read any Discworld? Yeah, I've read the first eight or nine <laughs> Discworld books. Fucking fantastic. I think I read the first Discworld book. Yeah. So funny. It's just like really great Monty Python style fantasy. Yeah, it's like Douglas Adams kind of a vibe. Yeah, yeah, Terry Pratchett. Yeah, he was very Douglas Adams. And every once in a while, it'll be a bunch of jokes, and then there'll always be one moment in those books that like hits you right in the fucking in the feels. And that right guy was very good. At that. Um, puke story. I guess I can tell the puke story soon. But oh, yeah. I oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. But I got to do fan art. So we have two pieces of business. Uh, should we do fan art now? There's not a ton. Yeah. Cool. Oh wait, I still have uh, I still have my uh, window capture up. Okay. So oh, uh, hold on. I, I need to prepare. Uh, why is this Whoa. still zoomed in? Hold on. Yeah, it's really cool, but let me unzoom. Let me unzoom it so it's not all fucked up. Hold on. Sam, is he full screen? Uh, uh, yep, no. I, no, my problem is that I had tried, transformed on my end for uh, when I did that, uh, showed those photos earlier. Ooh. There we are. Okay. So, uh, yeah, here's fan art. You got me full screen, pal? Yeah. Okay, yes. so this before you leave ha, gave us a couple pieces. So this is the first one. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the inspiration is here. I think that's uh, that's a shirt I wear a lot on camera. Turned into some sort of cool uh, robe, and I have a cool wizard eye or something for some reason. Um, cool, pretty cool. dope, dope. Uh, then they made this one, which is they just took a picture of Darren and made it into peppermint pissy. <laughs> Fair. No under boob, but that's all good. Right. Well, maybe that's what those blue circles are. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, and then this one of me, which I don't know what it is or what the deal is, but it's terrifying. It's like, obviously, there's jizz. Yeah, I guess there's that's jizz. Or, well, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be spittle, too, like I'm losing my mind, but maybe it's... We it's know jizz. what it is. <laughs> I think it's jizz. <laughs> yeah, no, it's jizz. You know what you did. You're right. I think, um, yeah. So those are all good. Uh, then we got... Okay, so Blair Mountain These Bay, are rad. I don't know if you guys saw these on on i'm not going to go through all of them but she has a ton of them that they, they, they put them on reddit and so she made like a bunch of trevor comic book panels and so this is one they, this obviously it says the hero whore town deserves but not the one it needs right now and he's saying well here's the thing <laughs> hmm. and so uh, i was having issues getting everything downloaded so i asked her to just give me uh, another one that just shows like everything she made so here's you can zoom in on it maybe but uh look at all that it's fucking cool wow so those are a lot of fun um, Trevor has a comic book. It looks very. Uh, there's a certain art, a comic book artist I'm thinking of that the style looks like. I can't think of the name though. He did Iron Man once. Uh, I like the the top left. Wait, go back. Uh, yeah. the, it's 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 his. Uh, uh, no, it's his uh, COVID helmet. 
Oh, that's what that is. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. The cocaine, sure. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's funny. It took me a well, second. It's like you always say, Sam, the guy had the same haircut his whole life, so it's really hard to look at these and figure out like the era, except yeah. the facial hair. You know the facial hair was probably later, but besides that, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> It's so um, weird that he always had the same haircut. Right. What, it's a, look, there's this that? one here, uh, middle left side, where it's a little yeah. shorter. It's about the, shorter. There's uh, a photo that was up in his basement where he had like a, a, a haircut like mine. Remember, Sam? It was like from yeah. college. And he yes, had like a he, short haircut. Yeah. And he looked really good. It was like, right. it, it looked, it, it worked on him. Like he, right. I, 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 so bizarre. He was always, he was always very conscious of his brand. I yes. think that's part of it. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I think I do. So too. I do. I think yeah. like this is like how I, you know, he always wanted to look like he always wanted to look like Trevor. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. Yeah. Like, quote unquote, you know, like the, the, the Trevor uh, character almost for lack of a better term. But yeah. Um, all what right. Inspired Professor Trevor Marth Live says it's not like the rest of you had wildly different haircuts. Sam had frosted tips. Timmy has pony pigtails right now. I used oh, to have my a hair shaved head. All the time. We, we all had completely. What are you talking about? When, when, I, okay, here's the deal. And I, I get what they're saying. Okay, so when we were filming the show, we all had the same hair all the time. We mostly had short hair because we were wearing wigs a lot. But when we were not making the show, we all wildly varied our looks all the time. And Trevor always looked the same until he grew a beard. And that was the yeah. only difference. But my hair would go short, long, beard, no beard, mustache, no mustache. Zach would have beard sometimes or not. Everybody else would go up uh, different. Trevor was always Trevor. You know what I mean? So, um, Am I accurate in saying that? I feel like I am, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Darren had a long, a long to, period uh, where he had a ponytail. Like Trevor had a ponytail? No, Darren. For like oh, the Darren, first, yes. When we first met him. Had, yeah, yeah. first met him for, for years. Yeah, that was a, a bummer. That was a oh, bummer. he looked great. I mean, you know. <laughs> He could have a faux hawk and look. That was, uh, someone commented on the flyer I made for this show, and they said, "Why do you always find the sexiest pictures of Darren?" And I was like, "Try and find one that's not." Yeah, yeah dude, it's like <laughs> Sam. Were you? Was that that stream? I think Zach was still in Bulgaria. We had a stream where da where you know every once in a while someone's image would freeze, and Darren's and when it freezes, I mean you were like that, right? But Darren's froze, and he was literally like this, like. Like just perfect. <laughs> looking perfect, and we're like, "How the fuck is that on?" Like, God damn this guy! <laughs> oh, have you seen that? Like, remember that meme, ridiculously photogenic guy, where the yeah, guy's yeah. like running the marathon yes. and he's like backlit. Yeah. It's just like, what the fuck, <laughs> Darren? All right, so let's was, keep moving. It was just maybe me, you, and Darren, Sam, uh, the three of us for some reason. Anyways, okay. So, did you guys get these in the mail yet? Yes, I got mine. I got mine. They're around you somewhere. Anyways, certainly pesky. She sent us. Bath bombs that look like the scrubbo shine bubbles. That's great. So cool. Also, and macaroni. Yeah, macaroni. Where did <laughs> I put mine? Shit, what was like? This was so nice. She sent the package yeah. to me and Emily, and sent. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but sent nipple cream for Emily because like that's like a thing. For, oh, for, for fuck's sake! Okay. Women. Here we go. Ba boom, boom, ba doom, ba doom. What's going on? Well, yeah, I'm done. Token. I'm done. Okay, so also <laughs> she she made these, but she also sent me a Stegosaurus bath bomb. And then here's the scrub brush on one in real life right there. That's uh very sweet and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take a bath with them. And she said she said something in her message about um like. She doesn't sell these because she doesn't have permission, obviously, or something like that. And I just want to say, if she, does, her. If she does sell them, like, we have a lawyer. We will sue you. Yeah. We'll sue the <laughs> fuck out of you. Yeah. Because I'm thinking of suing her for sending Emily nipple cream. But, you know, that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at. Uh, uh, Timmy, what's next? Keep it moving. No, no. I'm not sitting down right now. Hold on. Have at it. Be right back. Fucking shit. I'm looking for something else. One second. Okay. Timmy, oh, we're dying here. We're got... dying. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Go. Keep going. Okay. Uh, oh, this one. Sam, can you zoom in on that? I'm sorry. This was a low res, smaller picture. Uh, it's a bunch of. Certain... Oh, this is certainly pesky again. She had a, lot, a bunch of sketches of Trevor. Maybe uh, I don't in think zooming in will help from okay. my Shoot. angle. I'm so, uh, from... Maybe I can, you know, maybe I'll do that next time and do it. It'll better be, it'll be too low res. Um, here's dead stupid with <laughs> I don't know, Trevor Moore. Look, look at, at the, the floppers. floppers. 
Is that from the Fair. flag thing? <laughs> Floppers. <laughs> Floppers. Is that from the, the flag monologue? Floppers? No, he called them whoppers. And okay, that, what is look yeah. at those? This has got to be. This has got to be from some sort of uh, fuckers and Myers. Yeah, yeah, fuck forever. Right and there's a. It looks like maybe peppermint's bikini. Um, that was from Newsboys. Cuted these of us on Post-it notes. I like these a lot. <laughs> I like that they're all kind of like weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I look like uh, uh, Bat Boy. Who? Bat Boy. Uh, so close to what I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> Sweet Tooth, Jeff Lemire's Sweet Tooth, which is has now become a TV series, but the, the original comic drawings kind of look like that. Yeah. Um, anyways. Um, oh, and then there's this one. Okay, so that's all the fan art today. So there you go. Um, and all right, tell the puke story. Okay, so the puke story. Uh, okay, so uh, I, I have a daughter. She's in fifth grade. And... Um, they had a chorus concert on Thursday, and there's a lot Skip. of writers. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you literally told me to tell the story. Yeah, I'm I know. a great storyteller, so eat my butthole. Anyway, so uh, so there's two fifth grade concerts because there's so many fifth graders. So my daughter is in the, the second show. Should I wait and do this so that Sam can get his? No, do it. Come on. I got to get it out of my system. You need to tell a story. Okay. I so, want to say it. Yeah, it was a joke. It was a joke. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, okay, so, so, she, chorus concert, right? She's the second concert. There's the concert before her. So, we, we, we go to the, like her, my daughter's mom got her to the concert, or whatever. So, I didn't see her before the, before the concert. So, um, my, so my sister and I go to go to watch the concert. So, we're walking into the building and we pass a girl that we know and her daughter who was singing in the first concert and they're leaving and they both look like sad. And we're like, um, Hey, how was the concert? She's like, oh, oh, oh. like didn't really say anything. They just walked over. Like that's weird. Okay, whatever. So then we sit down and watch the concert. And my daughter uh, had a good part in a duet, and she sounded great. And the song she sang is she described it to my sister as like some old song by someone I never heard of, and it was Kelly Clarkson "Breakaway." <laughs> oh my god! But that made me realize this is the only aside. The rest is all puke. Don't worry. But that made me realize that. Uh, my daughter and I are at the perfect age gap there with Kelly Clarkson because I'm a little too old to know much about her and she's too young to know anything about her. So <laughs> we're both like, I don't know. Anyway, so, but she did great. That was like the third song in her concert. And then like the fifth song, uh, there are only six songs. So they're at the, almost the end of the fifth song. And this boy in the middle, just like project, just pukes right on himself. Just whack, just comes right at. And right onto, right onto your daughter. No, 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 no. Oh. He's standing in the middle of the, there's a whole bunch of kids. Right. And she's on the side. Nothing. My daughter has very little part to play in this. She was fine the whole time. So anyway, so so this kid standing in the middle of the core of the chorus, just right in the middle, just pukes on himself. And these two other kids next to him just like start fainting. And then the teachers like the the class teachers and the chorus teacher get up. They're like, OK, everybody, um, we're going to uh, just kind of uh, try and make this as organized as possible. We're going to just uh, line the kids. We're going to line the kids up and get them out here. And you can get them over in the lobby over here. We want it to be orderly. Not, you know, we want it to be orderly and not like the last concert. And my sister and I are like, the first concert. Well, what happened at the first concert? You know, we're like, what? Like, what do you mean at the first concert? So, so then I, I, I uh, my daughter was going to her mom's house. So I just stopped by real quick and got a picture with her and said, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I was feeling a little lightheaded because she hates puke. You know, she just hate, she doesn't even like want to talk about it. So like when it was happening, I looked at her and kind of gave her a look like, you okay? And she turned away from it and she was fine. But anyway, so I checked in with her after the concert. And I was like, that was so fucking weird. Like I left my house at seven and at 730, I'm already home again. Cause like some kid puked and the concert's over. Like, that's great. But I was like, well, so what happened? I guess a kid must have puked at the first show. That's weird that it happened twice. And I like tweeted some little joke about it and that was it. The next morning I go to the grocery store. And uh, so, you know, the, the girl that my sister and I saw walking out, her grandma works at the grocery store and I ran into her cause it's a small town, you know? So uh, I was, I was like, what, what happened? And she said, yeah, a kid like puked and fell over and parents went crazy and started running up and panicking and grabbing their kids and like yelling and like running out of the out of the uh, theater. And so her granddaughter started crying and that's why she looked so sad when she was walking out. And I was like, that's crazy. And so that must be why the course teachers at our one at ours were like, okay, we have a plan now we're going to, it's like, 
it's so it's so crazy that it happened twice and that they plan they were like planning like okay, if it happens again we're gonna do this and i was like wow i wonder what happened that day because because someone else I, I get to work that morning and someone was like hey i saw on facebook that uh, they said there was a frenzy at the at the coral concert i'm like i don't know anything about it i was at the second show that was where it wasn't as bad so then to this morning uh, I'm at working at my job at the radio station. And one of the ladies I work with, her daughter is also in the same grade and was at the first concert and she has video. And so she showed me the video. And so she doesn't have the video of the first part, but so what happened is the concert's going as normal and a kid faints, this kid faints and he faints and falls over and he throws up on himself. And there's like so a gas stop. leak at your school, dude. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no, a gas not, leak at your school. No, th- this is like, but here's the other thing. It's like the more I talked about this online and Twitter and stuff, people are like, yeah, that happens to kids all the time at concerts and shit. I don't know if it's like the heat or, or what or nerves or what. And someone told me it's because kids like the way they stand when they're like that, like locking their knees and it makes them kind of lightheaded or something. I don't know. Anyways, but, or it could be a gas leak. I don't know. But Do so anyway, so this if- gets, if you could go back and you saw the kid puke, would you, would you like for a second, entertain the idea of standing up in front of everyone and go oh gross <laughs> no i would just clap like so what we, what we did at back at uh, rewind a little bit to my daughter's show uh once they got the kid out there like we just kind of applauded that they ended and like that was it so that was very orderly so so okay so now this morning the lady's explaining to me what happened at the first one so a kid passes out and pukes so very similar to what what happened at my daughter but so he passes out and pukes and some other kids kind of pass out and one of them starts crying just because she got scared or whatever. They keep going. They, they, then they start the next song. And so without cleaning up the puke, supposedly, like they got the kid out of there and then they just start the next song. Right. And so then is when my friend gave me the. she's like, then I started taking video. <laughs> so like, <laughs> cause she was probably videotaping the other part too, you know, but um, she was only getting her daughter or whatever. Now she's like taping the whole thing. So, so then it, like the next song starts and there's big gaps, it, you know, they're on those risers and there's big gaps because a bunch of kids have left. And during the song, kids are fucking walking out like some of them are just like crying. Some of them are just like getting, you know, oh, when you just got to get the fuck out of there, you walk really fast. Some of them are doing that. And then another kid fucking passes out and they're still singing. And then another kid passes out. And that's when my friend holding the video camera, you hear her go. Oh my God. And then another parent somewhere goes, Oh my God. Like people start yelling. Cause now kids are passing all over the place. All right, you got to get this video, dude. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would feel bad because it's like people I know, like having a really horrible time, but I know you love shit like that. So maybe I can. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the chat will agree with me. We've, we've got, yeah, that's what I'm saying is I, you know, the morbid fascination, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. But so then, so what happens is, so then, you know, like my friend, she's like, I dropped, you know, I put my camera down and went and got my daughter. Cause like kids, one kid like passed out and like fell off the back of the risers, which is a good, you know, probably three, four foot falling backwards. That, that can be nasty. So, you know, people were, were like literally just passing out up there. And so that's when people were running up and grabbing their kids. And so I was like, I, I guess I understand the frenzy there. Cause if you're in that situation, your kid's like super upset and there's people puking and passing out, you're going to want to run up and get them. You know? <laughs> I, I, I have to, can, can, yeah. Is it time? Can I, can I, yeah, it's done. Oh, pine. Uh, yeah. What the fuck is going on at this school? This is not normal. This yeah. is not Here's what happens is, to okay, kids. I know that it's Look, not like, obviously every concert doesn't do this, but it seems to me like obviously kids, kids pass out at concerts sometimes. And I, what's crazy to me is maybe a couple it, individual I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Why the fuck did this happen so much? Two concerts in a row. Like, I don't know. Two concerts the, in a row. Multiple kids passing out and yeah. puking. This what the is fuck weird, is that? dude. Yeah. The teacher did not gas leak. Through. You and got a gas leak is, in the school. I, I was thinking food. I was thinking it's a food thing, you know, but uh, maybe a school lunch thing. You know what or, I mean? Because I or you got a got J.K. Simmons on your hand. Maybe that's it. What? Your, your music teacher's a regular J.K. Simmons. <laughs> yeah, it could be. He's like, um, this isn't fucking jazz. This isn't fucking jazz. Um, but I think, so here's the thing. It's like, I got food poisoning last winter from something. And so that's the right amount of time. If there's something bad in the school lunch that day, then you're about seven hours later when these kids start fucking falling over. So, you know, good point. Good point. That's that's about when that happened. So, like, maybe it was that. And I mean, but then I would think that the other kids that were not performing, but were in the second show would have been puking and stuff at home before. Yeah. Yeah, Why is it happening when they get on? You know what? Holy shit, man. You know what? Holy shit. You know how they decided 
which who which show you perform in it coincides with your lunch schedule we've <laughs> got we've got a fucking meatloaf with a six hour detonation on it i can fucking prove seriously. it seriously okay so the on. lunch schedule is five there's four fifth grade groups right five a five b five c five d so you know c and d are later than a and b that's how they divide up the concerts it really is holy shit dude i bet it's food poisoning that's fucking crazy yeah <laughs> Dude, your school's like, trying to cover it up cover up dude next they're, they're like up. sometimes little kids stand and they lock their knees and it makes them puke and faint you're no, right bitch. you know what that does not people, happen those people on my twitter comments saying that were probably fucking sleeper agents from the watertown school board same motherfuckers yeah. that fired me for being on a tv show that's what it is it's all it's all part of the same thing this whole fucking thing but yeah th- these fucking people i get you this tell, fucking get you, thing. Up. i'm staying well Finishing my call. did it. Uh, we did it, guys. That was a good story, Timmy. I'm worried yeah, about this but kid. I feel like we honestly just figured something out here. Like, I'm going to get all Zodiac about this fucking lunch thing, and you're, we're going to come back next week, and I'll just have a bulletin board. I mean, I me. think it's I think it's a uh, legitimate thing to question. You're a parent yeah, at especially that Especially given the lunch thing, because it's like... Okay, but, 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 but and I don't know much hard. about food. I don't know a ton about food poisoning, but I would say... This is how many hours after lunch? About seven. Seven? I don't think you're puking. I think you're diarrheaing yourself. Yeah, but see, okay, so I, I, I ate, I miscalculated the age of some leftovers this early December, and I ate some old food, and for lunch at about one o'clock, and eight o'clock I was puking and shitting. So I think it kind of depends on your own body, and probably depends on what you ate too. You know, like depends on what it is. So maybe I don't know. How long to me, did these kids diarrhea? It's like a curdled thing, right? It's like, to me, it's like curdled. So maybe it was a dairy kind of thing, you know? I think we got to find out if these kids had diarrhea or not. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> no, no you're, you're right. It's just really funny to be like, all right. I just, we got to get to the bottom of this. I imagine yeah. just like in a trench coat with fedora at the school, like, okay, Sammy, now let me ask you something. That day, did you, did you mm-hmm. have, di- did you go to the bathroom that night, Sammy? Yeah. Did you have diarrhea? You know? This is like um, one of those, like, cool. like Aaron Brockovich black water or dark water <laughs> things. Dark water. Yeah. I asked, so I texted my Go daughter, door to door. Uh, Did uh, your kid have diarrhea at, last at her week? Mom's the next night after school, and I texted her. I'm like, so was every, like, what was going on? Like, how, how was school today? And she was like, well, everybody was talking about, it. she's like, I sit right next to the kid who uh, I was like, oh, okay. And uh, she's like, Everybody was talking about it. Me and my friends agreed not to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel about the Oscars. I'm just like, I'm not going to give it. Yeah, that's how I was feeling. Like, dude, listen, it's like probably not a great idea to joke about that, but also obviously an insane overreaction. Like both people, it's just kind of like a dumb thing. Who cares? You know, like whatever. All right, guys, this was good. Cool. So yeah, I think thanks everybody was, for oh, hanging out with us. Yes. So, uh, thanks tomorrow- for all the donos. Tomorrow's Timmy's birthday. And happy birthday, as, Timmy. As part of that, as part of that yes. celebration of Timmy, we are going to have Timmy on Trailer Boys. Because we're doing martial arts movies. Yeah. Oh, oh I got to yeah. submit some trailers. Yeah. I so. looked at the list and there's some I could submit, so I'll do it. This will this will be a fun one. This is like one that yeah, we man. haven't done that like was like, oh, we haven't? You know? Well, and so. it's like a it's a very energetic genre of trailers. Because you yeah. got to show people kicking and punching each other, you know. So it's a uh, you got to show a lot of money shots in a kung fu movie trailer, you know. Yeah, a lot of money shots. Yeah, just kung fu guys just covered in cum, just coming and kicking and cut fighting and jizz. It's great. And Smart Henry says, "Great stream, Zach. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it." Um, <laughs> Timmy, do you do you want to do some overtime right now? Is I was it, thinking about it. I'm not really set up. What are you thinking? Uh, I mean, we were talking about uh, doing. I mean, I think I'm gonna not go to that show I was talking oh. about going to, so I could stick so around. Should I, how should you guys do up? overtime. I'm gonna hop okay, off. Zach. Later, everybody. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Um. <laughs>